con tonight. Good evening. Did you miss us? Oh, my God. What a night. What a night we're having. Uh, it's half an hour late to the Thursday Night Throwdown with the Armchair Dragoons. It's a pleasure to be with you as ever. I wasn't going to miss it. I just wasn't, no matter what the day brought. And, you know, I was saying my day's been a little bit crazy, but I'm going to skip it because, oh, my God, our guy Red Sax is out there watching, and he's having the real night of nights. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's, let's not kid ourselves. Uh, we've been talking to him offline. We've been chatting. He, God, our guy was hit. Our guy was hit by a vehicle and had to, oh, well, well anyway, I got to tweet. I got to tweet first. I can't not tweet. Otherwise, Ron will catch me and yell at me. Um, and I don't want to be yelled at by Ron, for heaven's sake. But I am absolutely playing from behind. I will not lie. Uh, doot, 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 scoot, scoot, suit. Let's, let's not kid ourselves. Uh, we've been... There we are. Let's say hi to everybody before we go too far, though. Joining us tonight, we have Achilles, Chrono, and Vance. How are you, gentlemen? Doing all right. Good. Very well. Good to have you by. Uh, here we go. Better than some. <laughs> uh, not the truth. Uh, oh. Tweet is out. Armchair. That's us. No, oh, much better. All right, a tweet is out. No, we want to spend spe uh, special love. Um, Jeff, Jeff Russ. Uh, we want to spend special love to our guy, uh, Red, who is in the emergency room. We understand he's doing well if he's a little bored and uncomfortable. Um, they had to pluck asphalt out of inconvenient parts of his person. And uh, anybody who's got to have to do that on a Thursday night, I don't know. I just don't know. That's not what I would want to do. So um, we have decided to get back together and play some more Rommel. Why? Because we have to train people up and get people used to all the Rommel rules so that when this becomes the ridiculous overlord scenario, we are all set to go. Good evening, Haz. Uh, <laughs> Red says, hey, Red. Uh, by the way, Velker Red wanted to particularly say to you get better and we hope you're better soon um but anyway we uh we all we are getting together because when overlord comes we want to be totally ready for it have you guys picked which side you want to be on i will tell you this is the scenario is called the Uchich. i'm assuming i'm doing that correctly bridgehead breakout it's a scenario from november of 1943 and it involves a whole lot of vehicles, some of them German, some of them Soviet. Anybody got a preference? Uh, I'm willing to take the Soviets. No one else is. Vance, you want to be the Germans? Sure, why not? All right, why don't you grab the uh, color that's right in front of the command post. And our new guy, the new guy, Achilles, um, do, you want to, uh, do you want to jump into a particular side? Uh-oh. Hmm. He's in the chat. Yeah. Achilles, if you're talking, we can't hear you. And by the way, Jeff, if... Uh... Can you hear me? Oh, yeah, there, there you, you are. Go. Okay, I'm so sorry. I accidentally hit the mute button on my headphones. That does not, uh, that is not conducive <laughs> to conversation. That's... Right. Uh, I was saying it looks like the Soviets have more people, so if it makes sense, it make probably makes sense to put me on that side. All right. Well, you actually both have three elements. So, that, but either way, great. So just make sure you join a team with Chrono over on the Soviet side. Uh, but grab a color too, so you got one of those, because otherwise you can't move nothing. And then I'll let you and Chrono figure out how you're going to pass it out. Jeff, if you want, since Red for obvious reasons can't make it, if you want to come and be our fourth, you know how to get here. Drive on by. Um, cause especially since the book is in the mail, uh, <laughs> the, uh, there it is. So there we go. All right. Uh, Achilles has a color. Let me ask first, uh, can everybody see their respective ops areas? I can. Uh, you can see yours and I Chrono can and Achilles. Can you see this? Uh, yeah, I yeah. see a green box over a thing. But you can you see the thing inside it? Um, I can see the dice and stuff, yes. 
Okay, and you can but you and you can also see the options, those those written options there. Yes. Okay, cool. That's what matters. Got to be able to see the stuff. So let's talk about the scenario. Uh, da, 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 da. The weather is clear. Objective squares are denoted by crosses. There should be one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Let's make sure I put out all six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yay me. You will note that we have one actual urban area over here at Luchech. These are not urban areas for game purposes. This is decorative housing. This is a, a hamlet or a small village. The objective is still there, but it does not function as an urban area. It functions as open? Yes. Okay. Correct. Not enough buildings. <laughs> not enough. You can run them over. Uh, we have swamps, which is soft ground. Remember, there are rules about leaving soft ground. The Dnieper is unfordable. That's the two big rivers over to the right. Um, units can cross the minor river at any point, but crossing it is like moving into non-open terrain. Units can only move a maximum of one square across it. Additionally, any unit attacking across it is vulnerable in combat. You cannot cross the river using road movement, but supply lines can cross it. <clears throat> Soviets have their six ops. The Germans have three. Oh, and th they said it right there. Both sides use their mid-war ops. Yay, we decided the right thing. <laughs> the description. The Soviets have established a number of bridgeheads across the Dnieper. One of them is at Yuchesh, north of Kiev. Seeming, uh, seem to have been safely contained. However, Russian General Rybalko has moved elements of the 3rd Guard Tank Army into the bridgehead, ready for a breakout to the south towards Kiev. The game is 16 moves, standard turns. You need, the Soviets need to be holding f four or more objectives to win. Four or more. The Axis has three elements, 68th, 82nd, and 2nd Panzer. The core level support artillery can support any without penalty the soviets have three the 50th and 51st rifle corps which are the 98th and the 123rd rifle divisions and fifth guard tank the infantry support elements can support units of the two rifle divisions without penalty is that someone leaving or joining joining uh, the, okay. we got jeff yeah. all right I'm yeah. got jeff all right, you're a dirty German. Um, <laughs> setup. Soviet. The Russian Rifle Division and the Infantry Support deploy anywhere in lines A or B and move first. The German Infantry Divisions and the Artillery Units deploy anywhere in lines D through H. The Germans have eight prepared defenses, which they can place in their deployment area, but no more than two per square. I'm going to have to fetch you minefields, three minefields in C and D, but not in D2. The fifth guard arrives in the marker phase of turn one. The German second panzer arrives in the marker phase of turn two. So let's get this all sorted. First, Soviet fifth guard tank corps has got to get its fanny off the table. I think we have enough space over here somewhere. I'm I not two mine uh, must be I am not convinced. I mean it's temporary, we can just line them up right here, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna take people behind the mat. I'm gonna show them how the magic happens. Ooh, magic. <laughs> ooh, wow. Yeah, ooh. Oh, uh, yeah. oh. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> That's how I spend my weekends. <laughs> Don't tell too many people that. <laughs> you could wind up for psychiatric evaluation. <laughs> you don't exist. Yeah. Here's your light tanks. A little T-60s, or maybe T-70s, I'm not sure. Those are 70s. 
I wanted to get the 80s, but the, the model wasn't quite as nice. And yes, I'm fussy about that kind of thing. As well, you should be. I want <laughs> nice toys. I give them their Katushas. Oh, why not? I think Achilles would be upset if he didn't get to play with his Katushas. <laughs> oh! There we go. All right. And on this side, how about over here? You fellers, you got to bring on your German 2nd Panzer Division. Who's that? That's these guys. And it's, 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 how did they get that that wrong? This is 8th Panzer. That's funny. Yes. He, he got it wrong. It's, it's the 8th Panzer. That's what he means. That's, that's fascinating. Because he actually does get it wrong. In the formations table, it says the 8th. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm, and actually, I looked it up online. It's the 8th Panzer. He just typoed it in the uh, reinforcements yep. thing. Mm -hmm, yep. So they are not uh, initial deployment. They are not. They will join. They'll join you very shortly, but uh, not right away. No naval verifier for you. At least not to start. <laughs> but I wanted to verify my naval. You do, and you'll. Uh, clean it. Question for you in chat, Achilles. You do, I... and you'll clean it up. Um, <laughs> Who's these dudes? I don't know. I'm gonna go look at. Them. <laughs> They're lost. Pay no attention to those people. Let's go do a little. Uh, let's do a little body count just to make sure, because I might have been in a little haste. Ninety. Uh, no, not those guys. Axis. Sixty eighth Infantry should be eight and one. Yep. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. By the way, you notice you got one guy there that's got anti tank. See that? He's got a Zuka. Ooh. He's got. Okay, it's a now Shrek. Does, does that? Does that work like the spe the tactic? Only we don't have to use a tactic. I don't know. I have to look that up. <laughs> I, I it's just he's, he doesn't say what it does. I honestly don't know. I'm curious about a number of these things that he's written here, but uh, this guy's it, got, it would make sense. It does. It does. But I don't know that it does. That that that's what it does. I'm saying it makes sense. Yeah. Uh, and then you also do get your core artillery, which is these two fellers. So yeah, everybody's there. Hooray. Uh, now let me take a quick peek over at my Soviets. It should be 11 and 1. Um, I don't know why he's cruel this way. He must know something about this organization. I don't. He's got the, and then he's got 11 dudes. Yeah, 9, 10, 11. And then 1, did you see them? Did you notice them? Pioneers. We're I gonna like them. We're going to talk about pioneers, dude. They've got flamethrowers. That's right. I, I they do. Just, uh, yeah, they got flamethrowers. No. I, I, that's what I thought, flamethrowers. They got, they got flamethrowers. Yes, they do. And then, So, uh, again, the question is, do they work like flamethrowers? No, uh, the they tactic? do not. I can tell you that. They okay. are pioneers, which have a very nice function, let me say. Okay. Okay. So the first thing we got to do, though, is get set up with the uh, – yeah, the Soviet rifle divisions and the infantry support deploy in A and B and move first. So I got to go. We're going to do it again. We're going to do Super Fog of War. I kind of dig it. All the kids at home seem to like it, too. Are we attacking? Yeah, so no, we're attacking. defending. Yeah, Soviets oh, are attacking. Defending. You're trying to contain our bridgehead. <laughs> ah, okay. I don't even, what, what date is it? 43. It's November 1943. Oh, okay. Oh, look, I made it all go away. Ooh. Now, see, I can still <laughs> see the river through that. That's fine. But you can see, see the terrain. Can't you just see can't see the else. troops. Yeah. Right. That is true. Yeah. I got no problem well, with seeing the terrain, Mr. Green. That's not entirely true. What's that? Right at this leading edge of the box, I can see the troops. It's not, it's kind of that opaque. It's not totally How about now? translucent there you go now i can't see schmick because <laughs> you're a cheating bastard that's what you are you oh yeah cheat. <laughs> all right 
D to H. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Yeah, that's what I thought. A, B, C, D. Now I got to do the German setup here. By the way, Chrono, I, I answered you and yeah, asked you a question. Saw... Okay. Oh, I didn't see the question. All right, Vance, you should be able to see through that. I can. All right, that's your setup area. You are also entitled, as it says, to eight prepared defenses, which you can place anywhere you like, but no more than two per square. Mm -hmm. And I have to go get you your minefields. And our prepared defenses. Nope, oh, they're right here. Oh, look at how nice. Look at how nice. Now, Vance, have you played this rules? I have played this once before, yes. Okay. I, I played last night. Um, yeah. Yeah, I played the first game with Chrono. In the desert. The desert. All right. So you, you since it's since you're now blind to each other, set up all you like while I go get minefields. All right. So where are we putting everything? On the table. <laughs> I, I'm talking to Vance. Oh, okay. Thought it was a hypothetical. And we have to... Oh yeah, you weren't here. These aren't actually urban. This is not an actual village. This is just for show. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a okay. hamlet. We would call it a hamlet. But so they're not like as... last night. Right. No, it's well, the only thing that's this urban is. is this is is Leotech. Okay. Is it is it a defensible position at all or? Nope. Oh, it's just, just open. Okay, it's open. That's what I want to know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's Marsh. Okay. So that's hard to move out of. Yeah, you yeah. don't want to be... You want to avoid, let's put it that way, leaving uh, soft terrain. And uh, the, um, the hills are pretty powerful. Achtung, meinen! Check that out, huh? Pretty cool, eh? Does it fit in a square? Look at that. Oh, perfect! So how many of those do we get? You are allowed to have... Oh, that's far too many. I can't possibly give you so many. No, um... You are allowed three. You may put them in rows C and D. Or okay. C and D. So, Probably your last, your furthest forward. Oh, I take or it C back. I, I can't believe it. I'm a goof. I keep looking at it from the wrong side. You count from the top. Ooh, that's nasty. A, B. Yeah, some of these two. Yeah, it's from... So it's, C is your, this your, open space. Yeah, yeah. mm-hmm. The only place you cannot put it is D2, which is this objective marker. We can't move it. I can't move it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, just Can grab we... it by the marker, by the little red yeah. corner. Where do oh. you want to put these? Yeah, what does a minefield do? That's a fair question. Don't drive on them or you'll roll a die. If you roll a <laughs> six when you roll that die, you'll take a step loss. Hmm. So a one in six chance? Mm -hmm. Per unit. Yeah, per unit. It's everybody that drives on there. So if you drive three, it's three rolls. Are we happy yeah, with I where that. Our... Go ahead and ask the question. How do I get rid of them, Jim? How do I get rid of them, Jim? Thanks for asking, yeah. Achilles. He's got Stupid pioneers. pioneers. That's why you bring yes. pioneers. Exactly. Stupid pioneer. And they Problem do is, and they do engineering things. They're the guys that have the pioneers. Oh right. <laughs> well, <laughs> so that's kind of a problem, isn't it? <laughs> well, we can do it the Russian way. We just send infantry through the minefield and blow up the mines. <laughs> well, the Russians, the Russians are the ones with the pioneers. Are we? Yeah, we are. Yeah. We have two. You have two. Oh, oh, sweet. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're 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 even. They even got the body armor. They got body <laughs> armor and my and flamethrowers. What are you talking about? 
<clears throat> he give you nice things. Let me read the book. The act of Sammy is a pioneer trait, and a pioneer unit is attacking. The trait allows the attacker to choose one of the pioneer effects listed below. He must announce his choice before the defender chooses any tactics. No matter, no matter how many pioneers he has in the combat, the attacker may choose only one effect. He may immediately remove a repair position marker or negate the shift down penalty when attacking a Bocage or Urban Square. Nice. Uh, they can also clear hostile minefields, which is an engineering marker. I have to look that up. Mm -hmm. when the when the fog of war is lift is lifted is the deployment of the minefield still going to be secret no everybody you, you see them throughout the battle yeah well that's not fair <laughs> apparently we did some really good recon before we attacked well at this scale ultimately you know the yeah. I, i'm sure a couple guys down at the lowest levels would have spotted it the hard way <laughs> That's right. Some of those daily patrols would have run into them by now. Okay. So engineering markers. Um, so dem so clearing a minefield is a demolition marker, and demolition markers have numbers from 1 to 3. Uh, when it's first placed, a marker's one value should point north, quote-unquote. The number pointing north shows the degree to which the task has advanced. In his marker step, the active player first rolls to advance all of his existing engineering tasks. Then he place new markers for new engineering tasks. Unless otherwise specified, the engineering success number is 2 plus. That means a roll of 2 or higher advances a marker by 1. For example, if a marker currently shows 1, is advanced, now it shows 2. By advancing, the marker results in it being higher than its highest printed number. The task is completed. I'm not quite sure why you just wouldn't use a die. Uh... Visuals, I don't know. Okay, because I was debating what I should use here, but I like the, you know, so I mean. In order to place an engineering marker, a player must have at least one supply unit in that square. Yep. The square unit may not be isolated. Having placed his marker, the player is then free to move units into and out of the square as he pleases. If he rolls to advance the task in subsequent turns, whether or not he has friendly troops there, whether or not the square becomes isolated. Oh, so pioneers aren't specifically about that. But, so technically anyone can mine clear. It just takes time. Yep. Pioneers are useful is, um... Going not up unsurprisingly, again. Yes, blowing things up. and things like that. Yeah. yeah. What's their flame... What's the flamethrower capability they have? That just shows them to be pioneers. It's it's oh. decoration. If I want to use flamethrowers, I'll use a flamethrower tactic. Tactic. The, um, what's the uh, anti-tank... Yeah, that is marker that I've still I not think, been able to find. I think that's in the optional rules. Is it? Because um, when do the scenarios get released? AT markers. Certain armies know below may purchase AT markers when creating fictional army lists or deploy them in historical scenarios. Um, these basically represent mass anti tank guns, etc. Um. AT markers are a Q options. It costs one AP each. No army may purchase more than three of them. At the moment it is purchased, an AT marker must be assigned to an infantry unit. No more than one marker may be assigned to a given unit. A marker remains to that unit throughout the game. If the unit is shattered, that marker is removed and cannot be replaced. Okay. An infantry unit with an AT marker defending an open terrain confers two benefits. Defenders in that square do not suffer tank shock. Okay. And the defenders in that square have the armor advantage as if this were a tank battle, meaning if the defender scores at least one hit, and they score an extra hit on the enemy's leading armor unit. Ooh. The armor advantage applies whether or not the defenders also have armor in the square, and the AT marker takes precedence over the armor values of opposing tanks. For example, the attacker may have superior armor values of the defender, has a weak tank and infantry unit with an AT marker, so the defender gets the advantage. The marker has no effect on other terrain types, nor when attacking. That is actually very handy, honestly. <laughs> I was going to say, that's a nice ability. Yeah, it, he made that because people asked, like, well, what about pack fronts? And he's like, well, okay. Oh, <laughs> is that the pack, pack front rule? Oh, okay. Yeah. Got it. So it's sort of mass AT guns, which is what the Germans are trying to do in this era of the war, facing against Soviet armor. So. War hey, wardrobe, good to see you, man.
You don't want to put him in there? <laughs> hmm? I have a quick rules question. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you... Can indirect fire or artillery fire be fired into a square with that you are not attacking with other units, or does it no. only use in support? It's only a support item. Okay. So what were you asking, Vance? Uh, this guy here. Mm -hmm. Be right back. You don't, you don't want him in here? Yeah, I want him in there. You want him here, though? Not, not over yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, I have a f couple things in chat, Achilles. He said he went. He he's uh oh, he's AFK right now. Oh, whoops. Okay, my bad. Oh, we should also well when Achilles gets back, we can cover recon. Oh yes. So let's okay. consider the rules we've got already added. Anti tank, although there are none in Normandy. Nor, nor are there pioneers. Yes, there are. There are pioneers. Yeah, that's, the, that's ultimately what the funnies do. Yes, I would think. I would, I would say, I hope the allies have pioneers. <laughs> they have, like, beach clearing. Yeah. Um, okay. I, uh, I think here. there's some recon there. I'm not sure if there is. I, I have to look at yes. the, the scenario again. Yes, okay. they have the uh, 21st. Uh, the the 12th Panzer in. has those... Uh, uh, Panzer Kampfwagen and twos. I see what you were asking. Is that better, Vance? Uh, some yeah. Reason I, some reason I ended up with one of your guys. Sorry. Well, that's okay. No, what I was really asking is this gent here. Mm-hmm. Based on what he said in the rules, I thought that would be the best place to put him. Okay. That, yeah, you're probably right, because it probably won't use it against this. Isn't yeah. it, Chrono, is anti-tank in open or in... Uh, according to the rule, it is. It only it only confers the benefit in open terrain. Yeah. It does not confer the benefit in built-up... Uh, or anything else. Not, not open. It's only it's only it only confers that benefit. In, so his uh, anti so anti tank does not work in this square. So you know. Okay. Nor would it work ah. here. It makes sense because tanks are already vulnerable in anything that's not. Yeah, open. I was gonna say they're already at half strength. All right. So then they okay. So the only open place I have is here. Okay. Okay. Do the uh, forests count as forests in this thing? Yep. Mm -hmm. They are non-open. <laughs> Achilles, okay. Yeah, don't, Achilles is back. They don't give so. you any shifts. They don't give me shifts, but they're not open. Right. Yeah. So they decrement uh, armor that attacks. Yeah. They, they right. really, uh, they no. really hurt armor. Is the big thing. They cut armor in half. Yeah. The only place, based on yesterday's game, the only place armor is good is in the open. Pretty accurate. I mean, that's valid. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if I want to start shoving tanks through forest. Although, let's ask the tanker. Um, no, usually we keep we we push calf scouts and infantry in front of us. So, yeah. so oh, so, okay. So why don't you hit recon, Chrono? Since you got it. Okay, recon. Uh, let me check the rules here. I should have it here. Uh, weather, river crossing, fight. recon units. Rommel assumes the reconnaissance units have been distributed among the combat formations or activity is represented by the recce tactic. In some cases, however, armies still have large units and entirely different reconnaissance vehicles, typically light tanks. So this indicates recon units. Um, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so the recon trait allows the unit with the trait to, to do one of two things, withdraw or scout. Withdraw is uh, when combat is declared, but before either side calls for artillery or plays any tactics, the passive player may announce as recon units will try to withdraw. You roll a single die for each recon unit making the attempt. On a score of 4+, plus, the unit retreats immediately. Any other roll has no effect. Proceed with resolving combat. Only the passive side's recon units may attempt to withdraw. They may do so whether or not they are already tipped. If the attempt is unsuccessful, a passive player may not use that unit to scout as described below. When tactics are revealed for... Scout is when tactics are revealed for a combat. If neither side played a recce tactic, the player with an eligible recon unit may declare that he wishes to scout with it. If both sides have one or more recon units, the active player must declare first. If both sides are scouting, they cancel each other out and have no effect, even if one side has more recon units than the other. 
However, if no recce tactics are played and only one side is a scouting unit and that player rolls a die, on a roll of four plus, his side shoots first as if it had played the recce tactic. Ooh, that's nasty. Nice. Okay. A Raycon unit that scouts may not evade from the combat. AE may not retreat instead of taking last, last combat loss, which I suppose represents the fact that it was is committed and uh, can no longer run away. Right. <laughs> hey, Ray. Um, oh, we should probably cover infantry support, too, because a couple of our units have that. All right. Infantry support is something that comes from these big boys right here. Yes, the two SU-122s in this case. Um, infantry support is... Units with this, with this are not vulnerable in open terrain. In non, sorry, in non-open terrain. So they're armor, but they are not vulnerable in terrain that typically makes armor vulnerable. Ooh. Um, they also negate attacker's penalty versus urban, mountain, and bocage. Okay. Which I suppose represents that they are uh, <laughs> Jerry infantry, infantry support weapons meant that are meant to... Uh, well, they train that way, right? Yeah, they're trained for and are meant to support unit infantry and built up terrain like that. Um, Horizont horizontally firing harvesters. Yes. Um, well, I think we also... buildings. Oh, I think we both do we both have self propelled are the naval warfare self propelled or they just have the No, they're just motorized. Yeah, they're okay. just motorized. Okay. We do have one self propelled artillery unit, which is the Katushas. Mm -hmm. Um self propelled artillery may use tactical movement without being tipped. And may bar and may barrage from a beach square, which is not relevant to us. <laughs> <Just> not... <laughs> but normally, artillery has to tip when it move moves in tactical. Uh, the Katusha does not have to, so it may so move. Do... Oh, sorry. So what does motorized do for the nub? Oh, it's because those are motorized. Wait, never mind. I'm not sure. Yeah, because our heavy our artillery is motorized as well. Yeah, but so far, as much of that has any... As opposed I'd to Toad? Yeah, it does, actually. Yeah. I think it can move farther in the... Uh, I think that's right. And the road uh, movement yeah. phase. Um, but it's it still up. tipped. I believe so. Let me see. Uh, oh, interesting. Point. Because, once again, this is this confusion... Infantry and towed artillery are motorized unless they have the leg trait. So it's oh. the same thing. Okay, so, so it's basically... Treats them like it. It's they're still towed, basically. They just have... Yeah. Yeah, yeah motorized and towed, are, are, unless it has the leg trait, are synonymous. Yeah, the only big difference... The, uh, the only big difference is that they can't fire from beaches. Um, and they're not tipped, yeah. Um, and then rockets. Both sides have rockets. Yes. Uh, the thing with rockets is they're usually shorter range. They usually have higher punch. But the important thing to notice is that they may not barrage when passive, which means you cannot call them in on defensive fire mission, essentially. They are only usable oh, okay. in the attacking phase. Yep. All right. So, my, so I'll let the uh, – certainly the group can speak for itself, Ray, but um... – I've been building all these Rommel pieces just because I like it. I, I've made the comment before that I think I, I love Memoir 44. I always will. I was looking for, and I, but I was also looking for something that next level up from Chain of Command, which I'm very fond of. And I just like this system a lot. I really do. It goes to a, goes to a higher level, obviously a significantly higher one in the case of Overlord, but it does it in a way that's elegant and doesn't seem too burdened. I like it. Bottom well, line. yeah, Sam does not like throwing a lot of special things in, yep. which is why they did the twist his arm to make him add, make him add pack friends. <laughs> exactly, and and, gi <laughs> and gives a pretty reasonable result. Like it gave the the desert game that we played the first one. Right, it turned out like the actual battle did. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. And I think it also gives us a really balanced. Yeah, well, and I like I I like the simplicity of it last night, and yet there were there's it was a real challenge to figure out what to do and how to do it and use all the tools you had. And... Yep. Lot to do. Yeah. Lot to yep. do, lot to think. So, well, we'll, uh, we'll show you how it runs now that we can get started. Everybody ready for the uh, big reveal? I'm ready. Here we go. Yep. Take a look around for a second. 
Oh, Vance, you and I are in so much trouble. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of optimism Vance wanted to hear right out of the box. That's what the Germans thought, too. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it, it honestly, last night, you talk about why we like this system. You know, I, I would have bet completely the other way last night. It's still, we saved it because it was such a tight fight. Oh, they ground me. With so few troops, they just ground me. Well, that's the thing is that I think they've got to pry us out, so we just got to not get pried out. <laughs> we have to <laughs> not get pried out. <laughs> yes, easier said than done. <laughs> that was uh, I think line. that was that was day two at Officer Candidate School. <laughs> yes. I'm sure it was. <laughs> to me, that's to me that's kind of like the old John Madden thing. God rest him of. You know, the guy that scores more points is going to win this game. Um, <laughs> so that's that's that uh, that I think is what we're looking at. All right. Let's hit this sucker then. Um, and Appropriately, I, believe... I have given Achilles an entire fifth guard tank core. Nice. There we go. Get the guy in the seat. Um, <laughs> ba, 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 ba. 16 gauge. Where's my... I thought the Soviets moved first. Is that not? I right? believe they do. There it is. Yes. Yeah, That's first. what you read. Yep. All right. And the Soviets got six op dice. So, what I can't imagine you're going to do a reset. So, why don't you? Uh, well, here's the question for the Soviets. I'll go spin over by their side. No sense to a reset. So, I imagine you're rolling six dice. I believe we are. Hit it. We only start with three. What the yeah. hell is that nonsense? Yeah, you'll, but they All only right, get to keep four. It. Oh no, what? we're only at a maximum of 10. <laughs> uh, no road movement at this point. Yeah, well, there's, uh, yeah, there's obviously. We're very close. So we asked the question can... Do you wish an event? Uh, let me take a look. That's true. This is a new card for you. A lot of it's similar, but. That's nice. <laughs> Ooh, I like that thing. I like this. Oh, yeah. We're going to use that. Yeah, they, they, <laughs> they used that against us last night. Well, we opened last night with the two of you doing intercepted sing signals and driving each other's guys all over the board. <laughs> yeah, that was that was fun. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's Del Delinor should have um, kept those studs in reserve. Yep. Because they, they would have been really effective. <laughs> our tanks were able to run all over the place, and he could have at least degraded some of our tanks. I think I'm going to throw that one on one of, the, one of our hexes. All right. Mm. Squares, squares, squares. Squares. I will say squares then. All right, so it's pretty tough. <laughs> what you doing here? Uh, we are playing a surprise attack. Oh, surprise attack means that that square may not be used, have tactics put on it. What square is that? Oh, wait, no. Um, actually, <laughs> considering what I have to do, uh, I will not do that because I've re read that cl more closely and realized mm, that's not going to work. Uh, so I've worked that and... I think I will. Hmm. No, it's not going to work either. No, no, no events at this point. No events. No hey, events. You said no road movement, right? No road movement. So we're going straight to tactical. Tax. There's your. There's our die. Uh, One big die. My only hope is that Chronologist rolls a bunch of ones tonight. I mean, <laughs> it's happened before. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I'm hoping he used them up last night. <laughs> the game we played, he rolled them mostly during the command phase. During the attacks, he did pretty good. He and I both rolled some ones last night. This is worrisome. 
<laughs> really? That's the word. You, that's the word you use for it. Huh? The nice thing is attacking up that hill. That the the tanks are not that effective. So. Oh, but it is. Uh, but these are because they're they're, they're not support. tanks. He's infantry support. <laughs> oh, that's a big, oh effective, nasty guy. Yeah. And that's the end of our first tactical phase. Will you have another? I think we will. Ah, very good. <laughs> That will cost you two big dice, two. There you go. There's your two. Thank you for paying that, sir. You're very welcome. <laughs> <laughs> there will now be another tactical phase, ladies and gentlemen, brought to you by the Soviet Army. <laughs> I, I, do enjoy, I do enjoy the fact that there's this giant gaping right flank empty and I'll just a ridiculous <laughs> horde of tanks waiting to fill it. The most polite war in history. Bonk. <laughs> All right, let's get a marker out there. Uh, I'll move one infantry unit into this minefield. I have to roll for that now. One d six. Yeah, let me see. All right, they're punishment battalion. <laughs> they, they apparently don't care. They're all right for right now. Then we will throw in the SC-122s and the Pioneers and another infantry unit. These two uh, companies are just going to scoot across the river here and take the objective and be cheeky. Another battle, Jim. I got a battle there. Thank you. And where's this? Uh... Oh, yeah, right there. Forgive the marker. How did they get there? Just. Okay. He's, All right. crossed, he's crossed. They, they walked. There was, no, there was no one there. He just walked over. <laughs> they're, they're, hey, hey they're, they're no less surprised than you. <laughs> That's okay. We'll fix their wagon. I don't like this talk of wagon fixing. I was like, what does German men mean about wagon? <laughs> um, he apparently see. wishes to fix it for us, Boris. And uh, I guess we're going to just move into this minefield. All right. Well, we'll have three guys roll. We'll do the first one. Two. Second. Four. Third. Two. All right. How much you got to roll to hurt him? Six. Oh. The one time I don't want to roll a six. <laughs> yeah. Why don't we check this minefield, too, then? He already did. Yep, that's been checked. Oh. Did it live. Did it live. Coming up to silly, why do we have a white star? <laughs> <laughs> it's for courage. Yes. It's for courage. <laughs> I think that most of our city on the tanks were actually white, honestly, just because easier to get than red. But uh, let's see. I think that's all of movement for now. All right. Well, which fight you want? Well, I just start with the urban terrain here. Um, that's, I'd like to, that's infantry support. I had to know. I'd like, I'd like to use the pioneers to remove that entrenchment. And how do they do that? They just attack it? They just give up their attack? Uh, let me double check. Pioneers, page 73. Um. It just says a trait allows the attacker to choose one of the pioneer effects listed below. He must announce his choice for the defender to choose any tactics. No matter how my pioneers he has to combat, he can only choose one effect. Um, that's it. It doesn't say they give their attack or anything. They just give confer that benefit. Okay, so they don't attack. It allows the attacker to choose one of the defender effects. He must announce his choice. No matter how many pioneers, you may only choose one. Yeah, so you just get it. Okay. It's very so he just gets to remove that? Yep. Mm. Wow. <sighs> he brought pioneers, what can okay. I tell you? Hey, can I target the pioneers in the No, you can <laughs> <laughs> You have to hunt them down and kill them. Or no, something. no, you yeah, cannot. Yeah. 
No, I'm afraid. My snipers are friend. going to my snipers are going to kill the pioneer. Six, <laughs> six, nine, nine to eight artillery Soviets. Nah. Nope. No, no, they have, I got, uh, I got twelve. I got, got twelve. 12. Oh, I yeah. oh, I didn't see that guy. Sorry, he was hiding. So uh, I take that back then. So again, yeah. six. He was up in the belfry with the sniper. Trying, <laughs> trying to shoot, shoot, shoot shooting at the pioneers. Yeah. yeah. Nine to 12. Uh, Soviets artillery. Uh, I will throw in the 98th Rifle Division's. Uh, whoops. Oh, he's going to kill him, is what he's going to do. <laughs> uh, I'll throw in their uh, artillery, which is a barrage of two. Yeah. So that's 11 to 12. Yep. Uh, Use that one. And we're going to get some out of the, uh, all right. Yeah. I so will also gonna... throw in the 122s for good measure. Okay, so that was 11 to 12. It is now 14 to 12. It is now 15, we're 15, 15 to 14, or 14 to 15, putting Defender second. Okay, 14 to 15, Defender second. All the artillery is thrown in. Gentlemen, go to your tactics boards. Ob yeah, because both sides do have points. I want to use this one here. Okay. You also just we'll wait till both sides are ready. Chrono, you still looking? Yeah, I'm putting down a few. Okay. Okay. A few. <laughs> he, he's got lots of dice. Okay, just give him a second. Okay. Um, hey, Talonar, he is booing the Soviets. Very good. I th yeah, I think that's good. All right. I'm ready. What you got, uh, Chrono? We'll go with attackers first. I have flamethrowers. Which? Uh, which? Gives a shift up. Okay. And I have mass target. So if the three defending units, double the uh, barrage value of artillery unit, and I will double the 122s. So that doubles a three. Yep. So you go to seventeen fifteen with a shift up, or actually fifteen seventeen. Fifteen seventeen with a shift up. Vance, what'd you pick? Uh, we picked attack broken up. Ooh. Defender's barrage causes one attacking unit to retreat before combat. Up to them. Get rid of that stinking thing. There. That's up to him. Uh oh, is it? Yep. Attacker pick. In the pioneers' home. Okay. Active choice. All right. Mm -hmm. Pioneers one. cost him three. Three. So it was seventeen fifteen. Drops him. To, it's back to fifteen fourteen. With a shift. Fifteen for... fourteen with a fifteen up shift. Yep. No, okay. but four, four, no fourteen. There, is the, there... It's four, four, It's it's fourteen for the attacker. Fifteen for the defender. But the attacker has an up shift. But because you're attacking into terrain, uh, isn't there a downshift for you too? Yes, that's He's what attacking. the SD, but that's what the SD one twenty two is for. Oh, it neutral. Oh, does it does it do that too? I thought it got rid of the fact that that tank is halved. It uh, let me double check. It should. Let me see infantry support. I'm looking at the glossary on page. What is this? One three seven. Uh. Yes, infantry support. Not vulnerable in autumn terrain. Negates attacker's penalty versus urban, mountain, and bocage. For the tank. But we still get one because you're attacking infantry in urban. Let me see if I can find the written up. This is the appendix. No, I think it's going to take out the whole thing. Otherwise, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Well, it does. It makes it makes it not too shit. Like, it doesn't have that for attack, a tank attacking into a town. Yeah, he's not halved. So... Uh, he, we he still gets, get the we still get the shift. Yeah, he gets. Yeah, otherwise he gets full strength and no shift. I mean, that's yeah. that's a big deal. If at least one attacking unit has infantry support, the yeah he doesn't. You know he still. Uh, yeah, he gets both. He gets both. Wow. If at least one attacking unit has the infantry support trait, the attackers do not apply the terrain shift down for attacking enemy infantry in those three. The trait does not benefit a defender. An armor unit with infantry support is not vulnerable when attacking, when fighting in terrain other than open. Holy cow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that's powerful. Powerful. Yeah, so it's powerful. 14 to 15. The 14 has an upshift. All right. And we roll. 
Ooh. Ooh, boy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh. That's five. How about you guys? Hang on. I have to get my roller down. Also a six. Oh. Ooh. Ouch. So that's that uh, five and four. Well done, gentlemen. That's a that's a lot of ow. That's right. a definitely we'll do, a lot of we'll ow. Do our, we'll do our five first, I guess. So it's five on the defenders. There's three of them. So everybody's got to take... Are you guys... Well, your legs, so you can't... Can leg evade? No. No, we cannot. I didn't think so. Yeah, and we're not going to... We're not. I, I didn't think you were going either. to either, mm -hmm. but... So, okay, so everybody here takes one. Yeah, two, they're all equal. Two. Yeah, two Everyone of them takes two. one, and now now somebody's got it. Somebody gets away from taking two. Who's that? Doesn't matter, but you know. uh, I, it, yeah, it doesn't matter. They're all the same. All right, I'll uh, get this. That's that was a that was a rough attack there, Krona. No doubt about it. Mm -hmm. And they give you four back. Who you got? I'll take one, two, three, and then I will evade with the S U twenty two to so avoid taking the second. Take one on that one. Take one on this one. You're going to wind up two on the infantry, though. Yep. Yep. That's all right. That's what he's there for. And both the infantry and UTIP. I'm going to pull out and tip wherever they yep. came from. I assume they I assume they are not. With no, they, they ain't going nowhere. <laughs> they ain't going nowhere. All right. Um, and now well, we go over here to just, this. Uh... He's going to do the same thing to you here, unfortunately. No, there's no pioneers in this one. Yeah, but he's got there this. Aren't. He's got infantry support. It's fine. We still have the entrenchment to take up one. You of the do. Damage. You sure do. Uh, so that's three. Could be nine. Nine, yep. How many you got up that hill right we're, there? We're eight. Nine to eight. All right, nine to eight attacker artillery. Yep, we're throwing in the 123rd artillery. Nine to eight is now nine to ten. How about you? De how about you, defenders? It should yeah, be nine. To, no, no, it should be eleven to eight. Oh, they're eight, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's eleven to eight. How, eleven to eight defenders. What you throwing in? Add four more. Add seven more. Oh lordy, they really don't like us. <laughs> oh, oh, you're throwing everything in. Okay. Yep. Oh, well, the big ones are coming. Oh boy. Oh, that, that takes us to fifteen. Should be to yep. Mm hmm Eleven to fifteen tactics. All right, Vance. What so that's technically do? a hill we're on, right? Yes, it is. Yes, sir. It's actually a mountain. This one. I would say that one and this. Oh. Oh yeah. What do you think? Okay. No, no, yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Chrono, you ready? Uh I am. Okay, attacker first. What you got? I have uh infiltration, so a double comp value of a single infantry unit, attacking mountain woods or bocage. Okay. Uh, I'll double this dude. So we got our three. So instead of 11 to 15, it's now 14, 14 to 15. And then we also have a smoke. The defender gets a shift down. Okay, 14 to 15 with a downshift for the defender. What did you magnificent defenders do? We did defense in depth. Mm -hmm. It gives the attacker a shift down. Okay. Oh, we both have downshifts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we did a Reese, so we get to shoot first. Oh, boy. Oh. So they're going to get to shoot 15 with a downshift. Yep. Let her rip. 15 with a downshift first. Oh. oh! One. Nothing. You hit nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Oh. Yeah, one is a bad roll to have. That yeah. you, oh. Ones are always bad, but you, you just hit nothing. I can only expensive. roll sixes every once in a while, you know? It's, yeah, uh, that was expensive. Ooh -wee. All right. Well, they can a, roll a one. Fourteen with a downshift. I did. I did. And that's <laughs> also nothing. Zippo. Wow, that was a whole lot of fire. So you guys got to go back and tip. Yeah. So we yeah we win that one basically. 
Yeah, that's that's all I'm yeah. I think we would call it a weird stalemate. <laughs> <laughs> And, his tip. Yeah, he's got a tip. He's got a tip. So what are your thoughts? Tip or put a red marker on him? I kind of like tipping, but okay. I mean... It's fine. I, I, I like the... What would you say, Jeff? I would like a red marker. Uh, and the tipping gets a little hard to see. Okay. I'll think about it. But I, I'm now thinking of this as a board game... And what normally would happen is you would flip the counter to the other side. And I'm so sure that's where Sam me... got the idea from. Also, yeah. remember, it's the one thing Sam hates more than anything else is counter clutter. Yes, I, yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, so it's that... a good technique for what he wants to accomplish. Yeah, I was just, I was, I was just thinking. I know another guy said that he likes to. Yeah. All right, so there's nothing there. That's the end. Oh, say, uh, will there be a third tactical phase? There will not. So I guess Turn we two. go to... We go to markers. Oh yeah, uh, marker step, which means Achilles. Sir. Here you come. Here you come. Anywhere on this on row bottom a. row A. Row A. Deck limit is three. So. Ooh, has calls red marker. <laughs> and I also like to yeah, start... has. I know I love that guy. <laughs> uh he's not I, here, he doesn't get a say. I like to put uh markers down demolition markers down here. Ah, going to work on that. Let's get a die down there. Let's get it. Let's make it a fancy die. That's not a pioneer. That doesn't have to be. Doesn't have to be actually. <laughs> yeah, we were looking up. Anybody can engineer. So what? Uh, okay. Pioneers do what they did up here. Or not here, over yeah, here. Here. Yeah. Here. They do that, and they can also demolish, and they can also build. They can do other things, but in terms of in terms of these, although do you have to, I, you know, I didn't read it very closely while you're doing that. Yeah, let me double check. Let's take another look because, at that. Because I, because I, I do I, have a, go ahead. I do have a question. Because we drove the Pioneer off, do we get our uh, de defensive thing back? <laughs> what defensive yeah, he thing? Was driven <laughs> off, he was driven <laughs> off by the uh, barrage, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was driven off by the barrage. Actually, um, didn't he dismember it before the attack? Well, I don't. Oh yeah, know. no, no. I, I, I see what you're asking. No, you don't get it back because that happens before. That's the first thing okay. that happens. Okay. I, I, hey, and that, now I understand. I, I what just you're want saying. to know yeah. the process. I just didn't yeah. understand the question. Yeah, the wording no, no. on it is: he must announce the choice before the defender chooses any tactics. Okay. I, I didn't. I didn't know the process, and that's all I was curious about. Okay. Yeah, you. Yeah, you're going to have to use pioneers, Chrono. Because there, the scenario doesn't give you any engineering markers. Mm. You got to have markers. Okay. I'm trying to look at that. I'm it's at, at uh, page two to do seventy-eight. Let me see. It's a very. It's, a, it's, it's the first thing right under engineering markers. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so maybe I can't maybe I can't clear them at all because I don't have any engineering markers. Right. So the minefields are just there, and I can't do anything about them. Correct. Okay, that's, that's all right it. then. That's the way I read it. Then I will deal with it. Okay. Um, Holy jumping! What the heck are we supposed to do with this? What's that, man? All right. Achilles, you're all on? Looks like you are. I am. That's just kind of a good look. All right. We're, we're, we're leaving now. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm with him. We're just going to leave. <laughs> Bugger oh, that. I, don't know. I think we're, you guys will feel a lot better once that Panzer Division gets on the board. That's I not... don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> was, you say, you just... say that so blithely. Uh, it's, it's turn two, so I'd ask you to advance. Uh, Vance, I'm pretty sure you don't want to do a reset, so six dice. Uh huh. Still not optimistic. Yeah, well, I'll get five of them. Yeah, that's all right. 
Untip. Well, That's the thing about throwing in defensive artillery. You might as well. Because you're going to. Well, exactly. There was. You all untipped? Uh, we are. All right. Germans, events? Any? Well, let's take a look. I'm thinking maybe, but I'm not. Oh, uh, Haz was Haz was very pleased you expressed your like for him, Jeff. Well, when he starts calling for colored mar er, bases, we well, might have to have a different discussion. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate this, this one. This one here. <clears throat> this one right there. That that'll do one, but look at this one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let me look at that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I mean, we can do that and that. Well, I'm... Uh, we're, you know where I'm thinking about, so... A couple, well, of, te yeah. couple of teenage <laughs> girls shopping. But, uh... Because I'm not thinking we're... Well, you know, other than this nonsense... It's 60-year-old 60 60 year old men shopping for figgies. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Just, just as manly. <laughs> See, was, they are not toy soldiers you take that back in fact okay this is what we're going to do all right call them okay we're going to do this one that costs two of those oops yeah whatever we're going to do that one that costs one and we're also going to do this one. Oh boy because what the hell? Because <laughs> why not? Announce them. Okay. Okay, so uh, replacement battalion. Reorganize all the infantry units in one square, even if they are low in supply or isolated. All right. So, well, that little town, it, those guys all get a step back. They do. They're very happy to be reorganized. And then reorganize infantry. Reorganize one supplied infantry. So one of those guys gets another step back. It goes back to full strength. Should be two at full and one at one down, right? Yep. Accurate. Awesome. And we're doing a surprise attack. These yahoos over here. <laughs> we hate can't play any tactics. You hate to see it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so let it be written. Um, any road, is that all your events? Yeah. So are we using any advanced rules? Yeah. Almost everything we're using is advanced. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> oh, I, did, did we, are, I didn't hear that we're using the spend one to. You may. Tip. You may. That's fine. Sorry. That's you fine. may, you may spend an op to untip. Yes, sir. Okay. It's fine. We're still doing a surprise attack on these guys. I figured. But first we must ask you if you're doing any road movement. Nine. And now you will spend a point to do your tactical operations phase? There's there's my point. You will offer it to the gods? What did you just untip? He didn't untip I didn't untip anything. anything. Yeah. Oh. He would have been able to untip I it just... for free no matter what. Oh, oh, we're doing a tactical phase? Yeah, we're doing a it's tactical yeah. phase now. So uh, those guys there, huh? Here they come. Oh, okay. Anything else? Do you want? I know. Uh, 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 what do you think? Uh, uh, he's got three dudes hiding in this bush up here. But, but I, I don't have anything to, to drive him out. I, I just yeah, yeah. Let him come out if he wants. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Well. One yeah, fight. I think we want to defend more than anything. We're gonna yeah. need, this is our th ours, so we need to take it back or try to. It's eight. To uh, four, four, eight to eight, artillery, eight to eight. artillery from the Germans. Yes. Which? Uh, Bertha and this guy here. Oh, both of them again. Jeez Louise. Let's add seven. 
15. Wow. I mean, 15 to 8. How about uh, you Soviet lads? We are all tipped. For all oh, the stuff oh, on the board boy. I can anyway. 15 to 8. Uh, they can't they can't put in a tactic. Um, Germans, do you want to? No. All right. No tactics for you, sir. 15 to 8. No upshifts, no nothing. So 15 to 8. The four. That's good. Two. Four on a 15 is three. Two on an eight is nothing. I'll take my lumps. <laughs> One for each. You staying? Uh, I'm staying. Yep. Of course they're staying. I, f I figured. I, just, I had to ask. I'll go back here. And you go back and tip. Will there be a second tactical phase from the Soviets? There, there will not. Germans, I'm sorry. From the Germans? Yeah, no. from the Germans. No, <laughs> will not. there will not. All right, that takes Austrian. us to turn three. Oh, uh, stop it. You're being mean. <laughs> That's cruel. Uh, <laughs> sure. Wait a minute. These guys only took one each. We did three hits. No? Yeah, no, we did three. Fifteen on a four. The four. Thank you. That is three. Three hits. Correct. Who, uh, I suppose it doesn't matter either way. They're all the same. Uh, none. Thank you for correcting me. And a half. <laughs> there we go. Three, sir. Three. Him. Cheating bastards. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm in the pay of the Wehrmacht. Um, <laughs> the uh, the German second. Oh, you're in the pay of the commies. The, the uh, German second Panzer arrives in the marker step, which is where we are, of turn two. Row H, H1 through 6. Over here. You want to drive them, Jeff? Oh, no. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're your babies. All righty. I spent yesterday playing with tanks. <laughs> <laughs> so, where? sorry, you said one through? One through six. On a row H. Yes, sir. Pretty much straight across from them Soviet fellers. Yeah. Something. All right. I'll put you guys here. One, two, three. You can do it from that. Can put you in here. What's this guy? <coughs> It's got a good defense value. Ooh, these Two, are three, these are four, not bad. Five, six. Yeah, those are those are serious tanks. There, they're good tankers. The Panzer fours are the. <clears throat> what does armored infantry give us? Uh, they, armored infantry can move two in tactical phase as long as they're moving in the open. And um, what else do they get? Let me see. Basically, Wait. think of them as mechanized infantry. That's that's what they are. That's exactly mm -hmm. what they are. Let me see if there's anything else they get. Uh, as, oppo as opposed to motorized. Uh, along with armor, counts as an armored unit. And tackle move two squares. What does armored unit actually mean, though? Do they get downshifted? I don't think they get downshifted. Uh, yeah, they don't get... The, they're, they're not afraid of tanks in the same way. Yeah, they don't take the downshift... They don't take the tank shock because they are armored. Ah, okay. There also is a... Uh, yeah, their they, two abilities are they count as an armored unit, which means they don't take the tank shock, and they have a tactical movement of two squares. There are also some tactics that speak to them specifically. Hey, yep. All righty. All, all on? Very good. Yep. All right, so there they are. I turn to the Soviets and here on turn three. Reset? Yeah. Oh, three dice. You reset already. Wow. Mm -hmm. I get three back. Look at that. Look at that. I have. Well, I lose these two. I lose three. It's three. I don't keep these because of reset, right? Correct. On a full reset, yeah, it clears. Okay. 
And then I have an event I'm going to play. <laughs> what event is that? I actually have two events. I have two events. One is a surprise attack. Okay. What, who is so blessed? Uh, it would be... Um, it's going to be uh, these guys over here, the 68th. Up here on the hill? Okay. Very good. Uh, and then the other one is Motherland Calls. This event immediately places five ops in my file. I do not have to roll them first. Oh. <laughs> Americans have the same thing. Do the Germans get one of those? They should. Yeah, the Ger yeah, the Germans got it. They got five. The, the Americans only got four last night. Yeah, it was we the. Don't, t we don't get one Krieg. now. It, yeah, you don't get to. Do you get to? I don't think you get to a taller Krieg mid-war. No. No, we do not. I'm on tips oh, I, didn't, I didn't even notice that. Untipping. And then I will spend a die to invoke our first tactical phase. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now, as I understand that, that means everybody gets to move, right? Correct. Everybody moves. Excellent. All God's children. You know. These are commie heathens. True. Now... Motorized infantry, they still only move one, right? Correct. Well, that's good to hear, Red. He is making his way home. They have released him. Uh, unfortunately, you will only move one if you move into non-open terrain, so you have to go oh, there okay. instead. Yeah. Oh, I can. That's right. I can put them with these guys. Yeah, you can stack three. He's got no more gravel in his butt. <laughs> as far as he knows, probably sets off metal detectors. So. <laughs> yeah, I slid off my bicycle when I was a kid and had to pull gravel out of my arm and my knee and my ankle. Ugh. was telling them before you came before you came into discord jim about when i was eight i fell off a hay baler onto a gravel road <laughs> that was unpleasant too oh man, man. i accidentally stuck two together are you fighting again yeah, you're fighting. oh there they go i got him hey, get out of our trees you no, them? they're very not. They're, those are Russian trees. <laughs> those are Soviet trees. Those are, <laughs> <laughs> Just for the record, these are Ukrainian trees. We're not having this conversation. Technically Soviet. <laughs> At this point in time. Oh, boy. <laughs> now those bots are going to get angry with me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, they're Ukrainian trees, and we're here to liberate them from the Germans. There we go. So I got to fight yeah, there. Liberate. I fight there. Quotes. Did I get any others? Oh. Yeah, there's one over here in the town again. Okay. Jeff is just, Jeff is engaging in some of the quietest attacking I've ever heard. Uh, we're, we're quietly defending. That's defending. <laughs> Jeff, is, Jeff is defending. Be very quiet. I, I know what I have to do and we'll quietly get it done. <laughs> Or we'll get overrun and everybody dies. <laughs> well, it's six and two, three. Yeah. You say tomato, I say tomato. Um, one or the other. No, I, uh, I, I don't know as I've mentioned this ever, actually, while we've been playing Rommel, but usually Rommel is played on a six by four board because these are 25 millimeter figs. This, four, this board is actually 12 by eight. Somebody measure it. Stop it. <laughs> You weren't even here for that game, so you stop. <laughs> <laughs> I watched. It's the that stuff of pretty, legend. It's pretty horrific. <laughs> oh, it's it's oh god! It was so hysterically. I laughed so hard. I see what you're doing. <laughs> I see you. 
Uh, anybody else got tactical movement? I think we've seen it all. Yep. Which one do you want? Uh, let's start with these guys in the middle. Sahil, where is there is no tactics, no tactics from the Germans. All right, this boy is going to climb that hill and do his naughty business uh, with a three. It should be nine I'm total eight. again. These guys are it's all fresh. Nine. It's a nine, yeah, they're all fresh. Yeah. And I'm eight. Uh, so, it's a, so it's, you're right, because neither of those guys were injured. So yeah. it is nine to eight. Soviets, artillery? We are throwing in our one, two, third. So it's a three? Oh, no, wait, sorry, wrong one. We're going to throw in the uh, 98th. 98th, there we go. Because these are the 98th boys. Yeah. Except for the SE-122, which is supporting everybody. Free to go, yeah. So it's 9, so it's 11 to 8. 11, to, guys... 11 to 8. How about the Germans? Van Steen, you think, Jeff, here. where do you think these guys should defend? Here or there or here? I, I think we're better uh, throwing some, because we can use tactics over in the... Um, ground and he's not bringing a tank in there so we'll get the shift again um, so I think the artillery is best here alright that sounds good alright oh, 11 three. to 8 becomes 11 to 11 Ooh. 11 to 11 no tactics may come from the Germans how about the Soviets uh, Jeff let me take a look Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have played two tactics. Oh, dear. We have infiltration again and uh, reserve artillery, which gives us a shift up in this, in the first, gives us a shift up, basically. Yep. What's yeah. infiltration? That doubles. Well, the infiltration the gives him a shift up. No, no, the infiltration oh. doubles the combat value of one uh, infantry unit. Oh, okay, so that becomes 11, so it's 14, 14 to 11? Yes, and the yep. reserve artillery gives us a shift. 14 to 11, 14 has a shift up. On those stupid tanks. Six. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. That's five. Two. Uh, one. Five to one. Oh, Chrono, you're rolling the sixes at the right time. Yeah. I know. Uh, ah! They can live. They they do live. They each take one, and the and the barricades go away. Right. Each take two, and the barricades go away. I assume you want to stick. Yep. Hey, oh yeah. Make you pay for it. Every inch of ground. No, we're not. Don't, we don't. You tip. don't tip. You don't tip, Jeff. We don't they, tip. Don't, they, they don't tip. They. I have to go back. I'll take my hit oh, on good. this infantry unit. Are they fresh? They Everybody's are both fresh. fresh. Yep. Everybody's fresh. You have taken it. They defended, but ooh, did they take that punch in the face? It's okay. Make some work for it. Oh, hundred percent. Couldn't disagree. Couldn't disagree with that. Uh, so is this a flank that I'm seeing here? It is. Come attacking from this square that's, and this square. That's what I thought. So that's going to wipe out your downshift. Actually, I'm going to wipe out the downshift, the pioneers. What? They can do that too? Yes, they can remove a entrenchment marker or get rid of the downshift in urban or bocage. They are nasty. <laughs> pioneers are nasty. Nasty. Combat, combat engineers, baby. How many turns do we have to hold out? Six, yeah, 16. Eight. eight, if you want to look at it that way. Yeah. So that's nine, two, ten. Yeah. Nine to ten. Yeah. Uh, Soviet artillery. I'll throw in the 122s. It's not a three. Twelve to ten. No, that's, that's, that's the 11. nine to eleven. Yeah. You got a we two. Have 11. I, thought, I thought you had two. Oh. Three, no, four. we have a three and two I fours. Can't, adding is hard. <laughs> math is hard. Math is, math I'm, is I'm, hard. I'm tired of your filthy math. So uh, <laughs> you're a government official. You have. To I am hired math. for my looks, which is really a tragic situation. <laughs> He's um, a city clerk. Oh right, gotta be Good back point. in there somewhere. <laughs> Eleven to nine. Eleven to nine. Or 
or putting it another way, 9 to 11, he threw in a 3, so it's now 12 to 11. How about some artillery from the Germans? 9. 12 to 11. How about tactics? How about you both take a look at it, 12 to 11? Sure, let's take a look at tactics. Oh, uh, man, 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 man. Uh. That'll work. We have a red marker. Where did we get a red marker? Oh, I was just thinking about something there. I'm ready. Anything from the Soviets? Are the Germans ready? Yeah, the Germans are ready. Yeah, the Germans are ready. All right, uh, Soviets have flamethrowers again, so another shift up. Well, you only have one. You're only going to be, it's a net one shift. No, it's going to be net two. No, because you, pi your pioneer wipes flank. out your, the fact that you're, oh, but that's they right. Flank, they're flanking us. Yeah, I have the oh, flank. Oh, and you've yeah. got the flank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is two. Yep. Mm -hmm. So two net, so 12, 11, net two, anything from the Germans? No. Nine. 12, two, 11, two shifts on the twelve. Uh, the 11, I think, isn't it? Because I have 9 yeah. plus... We have no, 11. I thought you had a 3. Oh, we have 12. Oh, no, yes. I do have 12. You're yeah, right. That was a 3. <laughs> yeah. I got uh, that uh, one right. Math. Take that. Ha ha. Math yeah. is hard. It is hard. Math Take is that. Hard. I'm a history major. Give me a break. <laughs> all I all I know is, is I have 11. <laughs> Nine to, yeah, it's 12 to 11. Sh two shifts for the 12. 6. Jesus. Oh, oh good wow. lord. You at least get... Wow. And you get none... None. One, two, three, four, five. Five to none. Jeff. 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 Uh, well, you're going to have to tell me which well, one. He's gotta... The fresh guy's got to take one. Yeah, they each got to take Everybody, one. Everybody's got to take one. Well, but you start with yeah. the fresh guys. I and then put it So that's two. The... You've got three to go. I would do two, but... two, and one. Yeah. So that's a kill. Leaves them all with one. No, 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 no. no, no, no. It should you leave them it. all with one. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see. Leaves them doing. all with one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, should leave them all with one hit. Yeah. And tell the commies to back off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what would have been great though, if you would have hit them back. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Oh, sure. I have no, oh, sure, I have no control over the die roll. <laughs> I am pretty sure that the umpire. Is in pay of the commie. <laughs> <laughs> Remarks like that. I'm just, I think it's a fair minded observation. That's all I'm Tommy saying. Commie sympathizer? <laughs> I have no control over the die roller. That was, that uh, was, that was hard. Um, so is this nine to. Oh, here. Eight. Nine to eight. Yeah, I got, I got eight. Yeah, do you have a stupid pioneer in there? I do. Oh. Is he going to get rid of the thing? He is. That's just cheating now. Nine to eight. <laughs> <laughs> All but your eleven war. Yeah, nine to eight artillery from the Soviets. I'm out of artillery. Oh no, no, I do. I do have artillery. Never mind. I'm sorry. I have the one twenty third red divisional artillery. So that is eleven to eight. Let me look at tactics, and I'll let you know if I have any. Yeah. Uh, artillery from the Germans? Nine. Uh, I'm ready. Tactic from the Germans? From none. the Germans? No. Okay. How about from the Soviets? I have none. Nine to eight downshift. Uh, you threw in 11. 11 yeah, to should... 8, downshift for the 11. Why? Going There's in no trees. Downshift. No, trees don't downshift. No. Trees don't I, do I don't. Term. I will. It'll take me a it's while to get that. It, it seems like they should, but you're right. You're right. Of course they do. They decrement don't. armor and they it, slow I, you down. I, but no, no, no. I yeah. looked right at it and I wanted it. I looked seriously, looked right <laughs> at it and wanted it to be that way. I want to downshift. I, want I, to I, downshift. I do. I do. <laughs> 11 it's to like eight. you're going downhill in a big rig. <laughs> 11 to 8. Yeah. <laughs> 4. 4 oh, is 2. Oh, 
two is nothing. Eight is nothing. It's a whiff. Yeah. But you I, know what? You want to be, I assume you want to stay. Yes. yes. Back to the minefield I go. Does he roll dice does again? Does he have to yes. roll again? I believe so. Yes, he I, does. I move every out, time, every time he goes in. in. Yep. So, so uh, I'll Just roll. roll three dice. Yeah. No, because it's got a who gets it. Or are they all even? All the same. No, no. One's all a pioneer. Except, so I want to roll that one separately. Here. Yep. Okay. So I'll just roll one at a time. Uh, I'll yeah. go left to right. Okay. First one. Nope. Second one. Nope. Pioneer. Almost. Oh, almost there. Right, Can those pioneers eliminate the minefield? They can't. They don't have engineering tokens. You need engineering tokens. Need, uh, to the pioneer has to give you jury markers to use, which you do not have, alas. Which is interesting. But, yeah. Anyway, um, I think we're going to evoke a second tactical phase. All right. Go ahead and move. Uh, do you want me to get out of the way for you anywhere? I definitely do want you to get out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> Are you here, up here, maybe? Yeah, the uh, your guys from the 123rd Rifle Division. Yeah, I'll just uh, shift the them fifth, over. The 5th well, Guard car respectfully actually, requests no, 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 your departure. No. Um, you actually you can, you can I'll stay there. You can, you can yeah, you can stay actually, there. Uh, I mean, um, that mean we get we get a downshift if we get attacked though because of the uh. Although if you have armor there, it'll wash out because the tank shot. No, my, ar my armor is not going to stay there, and and because we're different units, we would get a penalty, right? Yeah. yeah. If, if we fought together. Yeah. So yeah, I'm just I'm just going through that space. I'm not going to stay there. Yeah. I mean, you can only move one because of the river, so you'll have to stay there for at least a turn. Yeah. That was that was what I was going to ask next is how the river punishes me. It's like you're moving into non-open for the tactical. Okay. So, so I'll move. I'll just move out of the way so you don't get that penalty. That doesn't cost you an extra op die though, right? No. That's only if it's a road movement. They're not isolated. Yeah, no, they're not isolated. Terrain matters for road movement. Right. Uh, do I move these one twenty third boys here too? Uh, let's see. Or are you are you gonna go? Could you you could go through the minefield if you want. Or yeah. Uh, I'm actually that's I'm not going in that direction now. I'm going going the other way. I can move these guys back into the swamp. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, it'll cost me more later, but well, it'll make you're still going to be you're still going to be assaulting that hill, right? Yeah. And I can only move one when I go into that space. Well, yeah, all these woods is going to make it so you can only move one anyway. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Uh I am fixing my markers. Uh, I mean, if you do move in there, though, that means look at we have this. We could potentially throw in next turn. Okay. You see why I paint? Uh, try it again. Ah, okay. But of course, the minefield needs you might take damage, so it's up to you. Oh, I don't mind that. All right, then I will get out of the way. Spoken like a tanker. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> Why don't you? Why don't you? Can you push him forward instead? Be behind yeah. the hill. I cannot to the diagonal. Oh, you, you can't go diagonally. You I can't go diagonally. Unit, but not be guys two enemies. I got gotcha. you. Okay. That's why I was looking at that event potentially, but okay. but I can pull him back. I mean, technically, I can shove him forward. But that means if I retreat, I have to go all the way through back. So I could attack again. That's true. And if I treat, that means I can go all the way back to here or back to here. You heard him pretty good on the last one, right? Yeah, might as well attack. Yep. Sure, Russian sure. troops are cheap. I mean, yes. <laughs> Let me see. Good grief. They do have to roll for the uh, minefield, though. For the mines, so. right. Mm. 
Bonk, here we go again. Let's roll for the minefield real quick since you're in it. All right. Light tanks. Nope. First okay. T-34s. And second. Rather a feckless okay. minefield at the moment. Uh, I got it's a lot over here. Space. It is. You got another one there. And here. Another run up. I mean, you can, you can move through this guy. You can overstack as long as you end up not stacking at the end. So, Yeah. But you may just push it past. Yeah. You boys are in my way. <laughs> Okay. Do you want me to make room for your uh, your motorized? If you would, that would be very kind Ooh. of you. That's what I want. Oh, Jeff we lost us. Jeff, you still there? Uh oh. Uh oh. That was a hard crash. Actually, I'll put him back this way. All right, I believe that's all mine. <laughs> not an attack. Is he not? Do we lose him on Discord too? It sounds like it. Uh, nope, I'm here on Discord. Oh, oh okay. You just crashed out of Steam. <laughs> yeah. There's a dis there's a disembodied voice. It's Jeff. <laughs> it's, it's it's like I can still hear his voice. Stop telling everyone I'm dead. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> so uh yeah, they don't have to tip, that's right. So uh, where do we go? Uh, let's start on the left and go right, I guess. Okay. This is, there's no party in the should woods. Be, should be nine oh. with be a right flank. Back. No, it's, sorry, no, it's uh, eight with a flank. Because the SC-122s are down to, or took a hit. So two eight, yep. Eight, yeah, like you say, eight to six. Eight to seven, yeah. Are these guys, I thought, I thought the last battle reduced all these guys. To yeah, one. that's what I thought. They're supposed to be even at two. Okay. Yeah, yeah they should be six points. Eight to six. Okay. Yeah. And infantry support negates the downshift. Yep. Did you flank us? Yep, I did. They did. So that'll be another. Okay. So that will be a downshift to them. But first, we ask artillery from the Soviets. I have none left. <laughs> Artillery from the Germans. We also are void. Tactics from anybody? Anybody want to look at the tactics board? Oh, look. I'll look at it. <laughs> I'll look at ours, but no. Yeah. I'll be very wistful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very good. So we say then just eight to six with a downshift. With the upshift for the. Oh, you get an upshift for that? Okay. Right. Because I negate the downshift and I'm flanking. Oh, got it. Yeah. So eight to six upshift for the eight. Four. One. Okay. No. Oh, no. Eight is nothing. Four. I get, one the, I get one call the upshift, but. That's right. Yeah, you do. And so does he. One apiece. I'll take on the infantry again. I have to. We lose, a, fresh. We lose a stand. Yeah. yeah, we lose a stand. And they lose a turn. Well, not a turn, but an ops phase. Shoot. Say what? Tech. Well, it's like it's it. You're buying time, is my point. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna take them another turn to come get us. Yep. That's all I mean. That's all I mean. <laughs> Up here on the hill. Oof. Poor fellers. Four nine. Is that a nine? Three, six, nine. Yeah, nine to four. No artillery. Tactics? Uh, I have it on. Okay. Nine to four, no upshifts, no nothing. 
One again. Oh, no, nothing there. He rolled a five on a four. Gets a hit. I'll take him on the infantry. We'll take it. Oh, I would think so. Yeah, no kidding. Ugh. <laughs> My first tactic phase went great. The second one, not so much. Stay off our <laughs> hill. You will stay off this hill, Mr. Guy. One show pass. Lunch, and now we're, in the, now we're in the weeds. We what are you seeing? Uh, three to uh, nine to six, I think. I got six, yeah. Yep. That's it, because no tactics are great. You got a pioneer there with you? Yeah, but he can't do anything about it. There's nothing for him to negate. So he's oh, just, right, yeah. Uh, nine to six. Just... Yeah, it only affects ten. Nine to six, a big fat nothing. Here we go. Oh, look Ooh, at that. Nice. Ouch. Oh. Nine, that is one, though, for that. And then they get six. Two. They get two. me yep. for two. Mm -hmm. I'll take a normal inventory. I would have thought so. And then I get to go all the way back and roll for the minefield as I go through it. I'll move him and then roll yeah, for it. You guys both the same? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right, move them back one at a time. I guess. Well, you can just move them. We'll just just move them where you're gonna go because you gotta go where you came from, as you know. So we'll just go left to right. Yeah. Yep. All right. There we go. <laughs> oh no! Oh go. no! Uh -oh. oh my God, Chrono! <laughs> I needed those I... rolls like four rolls ago. <laughs> All right, that was rough. Yeah. And those boys got a tip. Yeah. Streaking in the wrong direction, bud. Yeah. All right. Yeah, oh, you got a bunch of tanks now. You don't need to worry about this stupid infantry. <laughs> <laughs> and now there is no more. Uh, well, that's it. That takes us to four. Yep. Four. Will the Germans reset? Uh, no, no negatory. Six negative, dice. Negative, negative, negative. Oh, I can't see my... Oh, this... Uh, that's my well, last one. We get five dice. There we go. On tip. Mostly just artillery. Events. All right. Um, a any road uh, movementing? Uh, hang on. How about yep. that one right there? Yeah, it's just, it's, it's expensive. <laughs> really, really expensive. And, okay, uh, no, I agree. I'm just, I'm just, I, I think, I think we're better off doing something else, but yeah. I, th I think so for this round as well. Okay, I mean, okay. No, you're not getting an argument. I'm just. I, it was, <laughs> we're we're desperate and we're trying to do what we can. So. Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 Uh, no. Uh, no events. All right. Uh, no road movement. No road movement. Tactical phase. Oh, we pay for one. One good old fashioned tactical phase. And uh, these guys go one. Two. Rockets on the move. Yep. Armored moves two unless they went to not open terrain. They can only move one. So anything that's not clear, basically. One, two. Oh, Lord, they coming. There's going to be an armor fight in the trees. One, two. And these guys get to go two as well, right? Mm-hmm. That's the motorized. They only move one. Oh, yeah, so that's only right. motorized. Yeah, They're... it's only the armored. The armored infantry gets to do that. You have those guys. Where'd they go? I have those infantry. Thought you did. Where yeah, did there they are. These guys. Those guys can go too. Yeah, we have a. Oh, there's only two orders. of them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's only two of them. I thought they all were yeah, all. Yeah, there's they're two and two. 
Uh, well, that kind of blows. Two copper bars. One, two. Two. Oh, here they come the Panzer Grenadiers. <laughs> These guys go here. Now, what do you think? Uh, you move tanks in there. Oh, these guys got a straight note. I don't think we should be attacking. Do you? Uh, not in my opinion, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're good. Uh, uh, just hold on. Wait, 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 right. wait, wait, wait. No. We're waiting. I'm pushing. Ah, so do these guys have to tip because they moved? No. Ye no. Yeah, yes, they are. They're not self-propelled. I thought motorized didn't have to. No, that's a self-propelled artillery. Doesn't have to tip. Okay. Very good. Everything that's not leg is motorized. It's right, right. What's that's their, that. Yeah. What's their, what's their range? Three. Oh wow! But they're a barrage of five, so yeah. <laughs> that's basically you get a whole new new infantry unit, <laughs> a whole like really good infantry unit, honestly, because all your tanks, right, so and good infantry, are like they only move to oh, no shit balls. I mean, if you want to put them somewhere yeah. else, I'm not gonna object. No, yeah, so. no, they're there. They're good. They're there. And they're rockets, so they can only use be offensive, anyways, right? Right. That's correct. Better than ours. Like, Fuchsias are only four. But, well, I mean, they've never four power bars are self propelled, so that's something, I guess. One half dozen of one, six of the other. Depends well, on. They're, they're one less power, but they're one longer range, and they can move and shoot. True. Yeah, it does seem like the Soviets have every advantage. They I have mean, every advantage in this game. Have you game, looked at yeah. what our armor? looked at our armor though? Like, no, your sir. Armor? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Even your Panzer twos are combat value of yeah, five. Yeah, I, I was saying you're not paying any <laughs> attention to your numbers. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, yeah, we are. Which numbers though? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. These five. You know, the, the, the problem is we we don't have enough numbers. That, well, I oh, think that was the problem. Welcome wasn't to it? World War Two. <laughs> yeah, forty-three. That's yeah. That's what forty-three was all about. Um, Welcome to the East Front. <laughs> Welcome to the East Front. I think that's it for our tactical uh, phase. There. Y'all done there? We. Oui. All done. Well, it takes us to turn five. Nice Boop. Clear. Reset. Mm -hmm. Soviets. Yep. Let to, me on. Let me on. Reset. Tip. Uh, I do not think we'll reset this turn. Well, uh, <laughs> I don't think we. I don't think we can reset this turn. Six dice. Let me untip and then I will. Untipping a second. All right, all right. I don't He's know so what strict. difference it makes. <laughs> I have no earthly idea what difference it makes, but it does. Yeah, I was gonna say it's the process. The process is important. You, got you must have order. Whether we, uh, whether we understand the process or not, doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm not quite sure why I did it this way. But it is that way. You can read it. It's, it's a book. <laughs> the book of rules. We like those. <laughs> you can't have a revolution if you won't walk across the grass. See how you go. All right. Uh... Do you want me to throw this one in, and then we can do that sneaky breaky? Sure, sir. Let's do it. Doc, Doc, come to general. So we have an event. That being? Uh, gaps in his lines. My armored units may move across uh, corners in the first tactical phase of this turn. Even if those terrorists touch two enemy occupied squares. Oh no. Uh huh. <laughs> well, there it is. How, is many does that How many does that cost? Uh, two. Oh, okay. So that's, that's pricey, pricey, but can be very handy, though. I would think so. And then we'll invoke a tactical phase. All right, so no road Aha. movement. No road movings. Okay. Uh, and you'll tactically <clears throat> move. I have a uh, 
I have a question here on uh-huh. what's allowed. Mm-hmm. I want to take this armor and mm-hmm. the uh, light tanks and the and the T thirty fours. Um, go there and then there. Sure, that is do- yep. that is doable. Absolutely. Wait. Okay. Now, do I just put them in the square with them? Yeah, well, like I said, you've yeah, got units right there. Yeah, don't I put will... them on top because uh, then the bad thing happens. Yeah. That's what I was reaching to stop. Okay. <laughs> we'll say they are going to have a much higher combat value than you. What, those? Those yep. are nibble warfers. They're not, they no, have a combat the, value. You've got the Panzer Grenadiers. <laughs> uh, the Panzer Grenadiers are the only thing you really have to worry about there. Yeah, but he's got actually, each one of those Panzer stands is a time and a half your strength. But I mean, picky, picky. So they're gonna come in. What? That's what What's we're doing. the point of having tanks if you can't use them? Okay, I good, <laughs> very well. I understand. I think, I think they are. That's a very right Soviet there. position, you know. We, we don't care whether they're inferior or not. We have tanks. We got, we got a lot of them. Just I'm sorry. Do we have um, tanks or don't we? You could bring your cartouches <laughs> in if you shift them over to this this square, and then they'll be in range. Yeah. That One, is two, three, four. that is a. Well, he's in a range now, technically, but. I don't know. All right, we can move them over one. Sure, because they can move and shoot. They can. Now, these guys were now allowed to go over here now, right? That is correct. Basically isolating my troops. These guys, yeah. You guys coming again? Of course. Let's roll for that while we're doing it. These guys are going to have to roll for the mines. Yeah. Let's do the one on the left. Okay. Let's see. That minefield is more than paid for itself. Oh. So far. Oh, crap. Oh, boy. <laughs> There's yeah. another one. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll take that. And the one on the right. Oh, wow. no. Yeah, baby. <laughs> hey, rolling sixes on that, I like that. <laughs> Keep rolling those sixes. That is darned unpleasant. Telling me. Oh. <clears throat> uh. What happened to those punishment battalions? They were supposed to find those mines. They did. <laughs> That's <laughs> the problem. <laughs> hey, Michael, good to see you. Um, yeah, we'll do that. And we got one here. I think that's all I got for now. <laughs> all right, which one? Did these guys move? They did. I'm trying to help you guys, or these guys? Oh, no, these guys. No, these guys did not. Oh, do you want to move them? And you no, them? no. They're, okay. they're smoking if they got them, I guess. Where are we starting? Uh, I'll start on the left again. In the tr- it back over here and move it. <laughs> these these poor bastards. Uh, um, we have four points. I got four points. And you're coming in with nine. These guys here? Yeah, yeah I moved them up this way. So they're not tipped, right? Oh. Yeah, they just moved up. 
Uh, but that isolates him, too. So three... Nine again? Yeah. Yep. The four. Nine to four, you brought the pioneers, right? Yeah. Yeah, but he isolated me, so doesn't that have... No, it doesn't. You're, no, no, not no, no, isolated. No. You're not isolated till the start of your road march phase. Okay, okay. That's where we check it, and you'll get... That's actually why I'm busting out that red marker. I think that's what I'm going to use it for. Them's that's isolated. It, right. Assuming they live that long. Uh, nine, so, hey, hey. Nine to four. Hey. Uh, nine to four. Any okay. Soviet artillery? Uh, I will bring in the 98th Infantry Artillery. So 11. 11 to 4. German artillery. You're going to shoot him? Yep. And 90 to go to So seven. that's uh, 11 to 7. 11 with to 7. An up, with an up, with, we get an upshift for the flank. And because we're yep. negating their... Pioneers are negating the urban advantage. Uh, uh, tactics, either side. Look at your boards. Give a shout. I'm ready. How about the uh, Germans? Uh, we're looking. <laughs> Can't do that. We can do this. Yeah, let's, let's throw it at them, yeah. All right. Yeah, we're done. All right, attackers, Ready. got anything? Uh, no tactics. Defenders? Yes, we have one. Concealed positions. Defender gets one upshift. Oh, we both have an upshift then. 11 to 7, both with an upshift. <laughs> Means we get one, get one hit. One for that. Let me get three. You were that you rolled a four, Chrono? Yeah. Oh, yeah, three. Five. Yeah. Three to one. That no. That'll That's finally get him. I'll take a hit on this inventory. The pound is up first. We survived <laughs> oh, still that took me. Still took a while. That's the problem. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's yeah, urban know, warfare right there. I think you'll take that every day. <laughs> but we didn't grind him down enough. That was the problem. Yeah, that's the problem. You, you know what does that? Ones. Um, yeah. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Jeez. Ooh. Damn it. Sympathizer. Come on. Sympathizer. The minefields are doing more damage than <laughs> they I They are. Heard. It's true. By a distance. I need, uh, a, I need a fire extinguisher for that burn nine all the six. way out here. <laughs> nine to four. Nine to four. Oh, that's not. Yeah. Oh, that's not him. Oh, I thought that was yours. Jeez, yeah. sorry about that. Yeah, nine to four artillery from the Soviets. Uh, I will throw in the divisional artillery. What are they bringing? The one two. Th they're bringing two, so it's eleven now. Eleven to four. How about the Germans? We're bringing. We're bringing in the heavy. The big one. That's four. That's eight. <laughs> eleven to eight. Uh, tactics. I'm ready. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I think we're ready. Okay. Attackers? None. Defenders? None. 11 to 8, nothing. 3. I think I'll get them. And 3, also 8, 1. Yeah, that'll get them both. Get you for 1. Uh, put it on the infantry. As always. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what do you want me to do? Not put it on the infantry? No. You want, That's you want, what they're you, for. You want it to be not put it on the tank? That's <laughs> not happening. <laughs> These SC-132s are valuable. That is what it's for. <laughs> Those are expensive. Stalin kept my receipts. You know, you, know how many, you know how many man hours the workers and peasants of the great Soviet Union pour into these machines? And you want me to damage them like that? In our no slave thing. labor camps on the other side of the Urals? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, come on now. This, this tank costs a million dollars. You don't. That's, that's... 
Basically. Uh, one last one over here. Yeah. All right, let's go through what Recon does because he's got Recon toys. Yes. Are you pinging something? I'm pinging something for Achilles. Ah. Yes. Okay. I could also burn one more for that, but then we'd be low. Yeah. It would, um, guarantee it, though. it would guarantee it, though. Just so you know, and this is for the this now is for the Soviets, when mm -hmm. tactics are revealed for a combat, if neither side plays Reki, the player with an eligible recon unit may declare that you are scouting. So that if neither of you do it, you can do it. If both have one or more, the active player does. Nobody's got. You know, da, da, da. If if that's no recce is played, and only one side has the scouting unit, then that player rolls a die. On a four plus, you shoot first. Ooh. Uh, but if you I mean, scout, so you may not then evade the combat. So not bad, not bad at all, really. So it's um, it kind of it does that essentially funnel the German into using the recce in a situation where a scout unit is available. If if they have it available and if they want to ensure that we do not get it, then yes. Well, I mean, since they don't have it available in this fight, mm -hmm. um, can they, oh, what did I just do? You killed your unit. It's oh. <laughs> well, that was dumb. Oh yeah, take it off the board. It's dead. Um, you flip them over. That's the rule. Does it mean that uh, is that a tactic they can use? Yes. Even though they, they have they okay. have recce on their board. Yeah, we have okay. it too. Right so there. essentially, it's something they they probably should use if they can. If they can, but you don't know yeah. if they can or they can't. Uh, right. Question for you, Achilles. Yes, sir. Uh, basically, in the uh, chat. <laughs> oh. No. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a couple other things. Then. Okay, so this is 6 to 11, as it stands. Um, so it's, yeah, it's 6 to 11. And first question we ask, Soviet artillery available anywhere? We have Katusha's, I think. Yes, we Good. do. Where are those bad boys right there? Uh, Back is that here. range? One, two, three, four? Yep. Their range is four. All right, so that ta uh, that is an attack, so that's appropriate. So this is 10 to 11. Very good. Any others? That does tip them. Okay. Uh, no, okay. no other artillery. Any artillery from the defenders? I bet you. Thanks. Uh, let me check something. All right, so that's 10 to 14. Can the core artillery... The core artillery can support anyone, any right? German formation, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'd ask. Oh, can it? Hang on. I think it can only support. Yeah. It has to support its own core, right? No, it, no, 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 it's, it's, it's core, core level. Core, yeah, the core, oh, it's core, 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 it's, core it's, level. It's, yeah, it's core level. level. But, 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 but. I just read it. The core yeah. level core artillery can support any unit without penalty. Okay. It's the, uh, who's who's got the limited one? Uh, We do. We have two 76 millimeters, one for each of our divisions, and then we have the 122, which can only support the infantry divisions. That's it. Yeah, the infantry support element can only support the infantry, the rifle divisions. Got it. Okay. But you have uh, core artillery as well? Where is that? The Soviets don't. They've got it at the division no. level. Oh, oh yeah. Um, okay. Hey, Achilles, are this okay with you? So, again, we went... Uh, Six plus the Katusha, so ten. You guys were at eleven. Yeah, that's good. You added okay. three. Three, so it is now ten to fourteen. Ten to fourteen. Any other artillery from the Germans? No. Yeah. Well, that's it. You get that's it. Okay. Now yep. tactics. Uh, look at your boards. Here, Jeff. Are you sure? I mean, I could do this. 
if they do that, then we're gonna get sh might get shot up. Which one? This one so down here at the bottom. They won't have that one. Yeah, I like okay. that. That's a that's a very Soviet thing. Germans aren't gonna have that. No, I mean this one down here at the bottom. Oh, oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I was looking at the wrong thing. Oh, yeah. Um, if they, yeah. My guess is that's a very likely one. Yeah, I mostly just want to make sure it doesn't happen so we get a shot. <laughs> so 10 to 14. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> 10 to 14. Attackers, what do you got? I have mass target to so double the barrage value of an artillery unit. Which the Katusha, I imagine. Ouch. Yep. Uh, smoke. So that's, defender four, that's 14 to 14. Go ahead. Smoke. Defender gets a shift down. Okay. And recce. Ah, okay. So we Hi. Get, they get attack first. Yeah, except that he's got a recon vehicle. Well, I am. Well, I guaranteed it with recce. Right. right. So I wasn't. I didn't know if the Germans had it or not. So I was like, so, eh, let's uh, throw it in. German tactics. Uh, yeah, 88. If combat's in the open, you have at least one infantry, and the enemy has at least one armor unit, defender gets a shift up. All right. Ah, so you negate my smoke. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So no net. So it's... Uh... But you still get to shoot first. Yep. Which really bites. Only if I roll well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. yeah. But you also you made a play. 14? Card. So it's, uh, yeah. they're, they're coming with 14, yeah. Because he okay, doubled this. So, yeah, it was 14 to 14. Yep. Yep. 14 to we 14. Ready? Let's, but the, yeah, attacker first, please. Ooh. Oh, boy. Oh, well done. Four. Well, everybody takes one. And now you got to tell me, because uh, what you can do is you can evade out the Katusha. Um, or the, uh, the, the naval barrier. Did they take one yet? Oh, that's right. That kills it. Yep. Does it? Yep. It's only got one hit. So that's one, two, three. And then these are equals. So you could evade uh, one out. You could evade one out if you wish. It means you only get to swing back with four, but it also means this guy stays at four. Out he goes. All right, he stands, and he shoots back uh, with a strength of four. No shift. Ah, uh, wait, and his artillery. Oh, yeah, plus Oh, yeah, because yeah, that's right. You stuck it in. You're absolutely right. Right, so it's seven. Seven, yeah. yep. Ooh. Vance and I, either right. one can... You guys yeah, got to start this, rolling once. This die roller is broken. Oddly, oddly <laughs> enough, though, you do win, so these guys have to uh, retreat and tip. Yeah, uh, unless you want to retreat. I win? You well, win. well, they've got to retreat. Let's put it that way. Okay, so you're you going to pull out. You're going to retreat and tip. These guys yeah. get to go forward. And they are not tipped. And they are not tipped. That was quite eventful. And Recky came through. Big time. Yeah, it was nice. All right. And the, the best part of that was that the objective of the attack was those nebel surfers, and then that's what we got, so. <clears throat> that, that is all we got. We are yeah. done. All right, turn six. Uh, we are not resetting. Six dice. A message for you in chat, Achilles. Five. Five. Untip. Roger that, Comrade General. Okay. Well, if you have input, I'm happy to hear it. So. Okay. Um... It's 
it's their turn, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's currently their turn. So I'm think I'm talking about is our next turn potentially. Uh -huh. Yeah. Because right now it's like. All right. Uh, Vance, any events? Uh, yes. All right. One very expensive event. Oh, dear. What's that one? Whoa, whoa. Yep, just one event. Which is? Intercepted signals. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. <laughs> Who go? <laughs> That's not a legal move because you can't take them to the trees. But other than that. Yeah, you can. You can roll them to the trees. Uh, uh, I thought that movement. a lot of these scenarios don't allow it. Remember? That's a legal road movement. Hang on a second. Oh, wait. No. It, actually, it is not because of the zone of control right here. What? He can't go through his eye. You can't start in a zone of control either. You can do it to this guy. He's not in a zone of control. Yeah, okay, so you can get through these. You can road move in these trees. In yesterday's battle, you could not road move through trees. Oh, really? So it must be scenario specific or yeah, something. It, yeah, well, I suppose it's the Vosges, so. Well then, yeah, we'll get rid of those guys. All right. They have gone elsewhere. Some German-speaking Russian guy on the radio are like, oh, we need to turn around. <laughs> need to turn around. <laughs> Actually, I can send them way over here. Yep. Yeah, one, two, three, four. You can turn them all the way over here if you want. And they go in six. So they go far from you for me to help you, but... <laughs> You're right. I thought it was a straight line. No, no, it's, no, it's just six spaces. Road. Yeah. Yep. yeah go ahead and that diagonal there. is a big deal. Mm -hmm. well, message, move same message for you, Comrade General. Thank you. I'm reading it now. All right, so they've buggered off. Hey, that, Any other events? That was our only event. No, All right. that's it. Uh, I'm, I can't imagine, but I'll ask road movement. Nine. All right, and now uh, tactical movement. Yes, please. All right. Pay for one. Mm -hmm. And what's going to happen? So I'm going to go visit these guys. Are you? Yes. Uh, these two tanks are going to go one, two. Mm -hmm. Oh, geez. And this tank is going to go one, two. Oh, dear. That should be a <laughs> flank. If it, I'm is. Not it is a flank. Mm -hmm. um, Can we get these uh, these martyrs and put them over here, possibly? Or get them closer? Where did you want to go? Here? Um. Uh, yeah. Uh, they only get a move, too, so they'd have to move, to, like, here for the, this turn. So. Yep. we got to be a little bit careful. Got tanks. Yep. Lots of tank country. Yeah, and they're not real powerful, either. They are on defense. They're... They're a support unit. You put them with a bunch of other people, and it like gives you the armor advantage yeah. when you're fighting on defense. Uh, well, then you then probably pull one of the units out of here. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah, and and shift it over, and then pull. Yeah, put him in there. Okay. Yeah. This guy shifts over to here. I'm just trying to figure out a way to. Yep. My flank is completely collapsed, and. <laughs> oh, you're so kind. Almost kind of, maybe, but not completely. You guys are there. Actually, this guy moves. No, he stays there. 
I sorry, the wrong guy moved here. This guy moves and this guy moves here. Yeah, I was I was thinking you wanted to move that troop. Uh those guys are doing that. These guys are protecting this. These idiots. As an idiot, I resent that. <laughs> or graciously resemble, I don't know. Uh, actually, we're going to take these Panzer Grenadiers and go one, two. Oh, no. One, two. That will isolate those tanks quite nicely. And this guy. Join these guys. Looks like we stirred up a hornet's nest over there. No kidding. <laughs> I would say we poked the bear, but we're the bear. Yeah, like, wait a minute. <laughs> we're uh, Yeah, that's the only attack we've got. Okay. Well, it's not insubstantial. Uh, five. Ten. Fifteen. Fifteen to six. <laughs> 15 to 6. Armor advantage, obviously, with the... Uh, Germans. Germans. Yeah. Uh, so it's 15 to 6. Who's your lead tank, though? Uh, That's your 4. Who's your lead tank? It's going to be the T-34. Okay. Artillery Germans. Uh, yeah, these guys are right here. Well, the big dogs don't let us. 19-6. Artillery Soviets. None available. 19-6. Tactics. Look at your boards. I'm looking. I'm peering. <laughs> peering earnestly? Uh, yes. <laughs> and, uh... We're going to use the nanny nanny boo boo tactic. Oh, very, that's dreaded. That is dreaded. We were discussing that earlier. Yes. Vance, did you have one? Uh, yes, I am set. What you got? I have pinning attack. Defender can't withdraw. Right. Evade. No evade. How about uh, Germ? How about the Soviets? Anything? We have nothing. <laughs> All right. Nineteen Zero. to Zero. six. Nineteen to six. So what are these? Sorry. Oh, before go you go further. We both have Rekka units. We both have Rekondas. That means anything? they negate each other, I believe. Yeah, that they wipe each other out. Yep. That's, that's fine. Only Make one. Sure. They cancel each other out and have no effect. Even if, so interestingly right? enough, even if one had more side than the other. Right. So it's 19 to 6 with an up six. with an up shift for the 19. What was the... Before we do this, what was the case where the... Um, Scout unit required the roll. Uh, that's in that's withdrawing. If, oh, or sorry. in this ah. case, if only one of you had had a... Re Let's say that this guy wasn't here. Mm -hmm. He could roll a 0 to 4. And if you hadn't played Reki on your side, he if he gets a... He then, gets he a roll, and if he gets, then he gets to okay. go first. Perfect. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, we ready? 19 to 6, <laughs> yep. Upshift on the 19. That's six. when you want to get the one. <laughs> That's all of them. Six. They're just gone. And one is nothing. Those two Soviet tank companies just blunt. And that's actually seven because you gotta. They overstacked. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Revenge. <laughs> Revenge. Revenge. Oh, he's tipping. That did help that flank now. I mean. They did what they were going. They did what they were supposed to do. So, mm -hmm. yep. They went over they there, did. double were for out. So, right. gave the Panzer Grenadiers a bloody nose. So that seems pretty true to a lot of Soviet armored counterattacks. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Hurrah, hurrah, hurrah. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Do so we overextend and get hit. Do you wish to uh, have another tactical phase, Vance? I do. Go for it. And I can actually and then I can actually afford it. That's what's key really. <laughs> There's the two. And so these guys feeling flush with victory. Go one, two. Oh no. <laughs> Let's do this. Just to keep me from losing my mind. You know, instead of sending the, the if you send one of the infantry, you can flank them. One of these guys? Yeah. Can I? Do I get a flank from that? No, there's, no, there's, some there's a Zock over here. Oh, okay. There's oh, infantry hiding in those trees. <laughs> I did not see that. Okay. Whoa. So, wait, can I do this? Can I put these two guys in here? Attack him. There's still a Zock. They still throw a Zock. Oh, they still have a Zock. Yeah. I was going to say, can I? Ah, uh, but there's no Zock on this side. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that would do. It. But, well, there, can, but then I there's. My... Well, go ahead. Show me what you're going to do. I'll put my tanks. Yeah, that works. From, from here. Mm -hmm. And this guy from here. Mm hmm. That should give me a flank, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be a flank. Okay. Yep. Keep this straight, though. So you got two guys there. Your pants are going to against two rifles. His got two it. rifles. Okay. All right. Keep going. Oops. That's not what Have I want. you got any going to do? You got it one out already. Okay. Um. This guy. This guy is just going to be a speed bump. These guys. Oh, there's already three. In, no, there's only two in there. There's yeah, only there's two only two in there. Yeah. Okay. Two. We'll put him in there. Yeah, everything's about a company. Each base is about a company, depending on what you're looking at. All right, that's it. Just the two attacks. Trees are speaking Russian. <laughs> Which one you want? Uh, let's do the Panzergrenadiers. All right, a little simpler. I think it's eight Four, to eight to eight. No, my are five. Okay, three and two. his are pretty beat up. Uh, three and two, eight to five. Uh, eight to five artillery Germans. Yes, three points. 11 to 5. Artillery Soviets, none? Nope. Okay. Uh, wait, no. I have the 120. I have the 122s in because they are... That's in my infantry unit. Yes, it is. You got range? Eight, eight, it's nine squares, and the 122s have a range of 12. Okay. 76 is only a range of 8, so the 76s would be out of range. But yeah. the 122s... So that gives me another 3. Okay, so 11 5 becomes 11 8. <laughs> yep. Level five becomes level eight. Any tactics? None for me. None from the Soviets. Eleven eight. No shifts. Five. Uh, one. Eleven is eleven is nothing. Eight is two. Two. Sure. Now you roll a one. <laughs> yeah. It's been, that's been the story all night. <laughs> So I, take, I've been there. I feel your pain. Hey, Chrono. Yeah. Did Did you intend to leave these SU one twenty twos back here? No, they got they got, they got they got intercepted signaled. Remember, that's where. That's oh, where that's I right. Ah, I've forgotten about those so, guys. Uh, I'm assuming Chrono that you wanted to keep the trees, right? The infantry will clean, hold on like grim death. Very good. I think yep. go. they <laughs> just punched some pans of graders in the face. They're very happy with themselves. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, I bet they are. All right, now let's do this tank thing. This tank bangerang is this ten plus? It should be fifteen again. Yeah, 15. fifteen. Fifteen to eight with a downshift because uh, tank shock. Tank shock. Yeah. Tank shock. Fifteen to eight German um, German artillery. Mm, yeah. <sighs> We want to 
to hold on to that for defense or <laughs> that's what i'm thinking yeah okay yeah yeah let's hold on to it yep we're good 15 to 8 anything from the soviets for artillery uh we don't have anything we can throw at it yeah we don't have anything all right tactics none here none here 15 to 8 downshift for the 8 Womp. Oh my god. <laughs> Two. Uh. Two. I see you lost. To... Yep. I assume we want to stick around and try and find it out though. Absolutely. Bounce them then. Making sure I'm looking at the right guy. That's painful. You know what I tell Jeff? Rolling ones. I don't know. <laughs> that was a two, technically. Fair enough. I rolled a two. That's okay. I beat them up pretty good. And that's all she wrote. All right. Turn seven. Um. Reset. Yep. Do it. Three. Ah. Not only two. Oof. Ooh. That's good. That's a lull. It is at that. Uh, events oh sorry don't... untip untip oh that's true i don't think i want to do any events right now all right yeah so we're gonna go straight into attack fit into an attack to a tactical phase go ahead it's gonna be one of those i predict <laughs> turn back around <laughs> Um, is the movement penalty, does the movement penalty count when you're coming out of the trees or only uh, when you go into them? No, only when you enter them. I don't believe it counts when you leave. Yeah, I'm it counts when check. you leave soft. It yeah, when you leave, you leave soft. soft, it counts, yeah. Yeah, if you leave soft ground, you actually have to tip. Correct. Yeah, you, so you become very vulnerable. But, ooh, that... Isolates his entire side of the board. <laughs> There's nothing to isolate. <laughs> oh no, Oops. it isolates my side of the board. This side. Oh. Lock here. That's our. Good apple. It's a, after playing yesterday where I, I spent the whole night moving, the Germans have a much different trying to manage resources and. Oh, let me ask you, uh, Chrono, mm -hmm. do you do you want me to stay out of this square? So that you no, guys you go ahead move? and keep moving through there. That's fine. OK. I want to create a traffic jam for us understandable Get four guys here right Oh, yeah, I'd like to move someone out. Thank you. I apologize for that. Okay. Yeah, he's all in 23rd. And, um... Oh, that's right. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, Jack. Yeah. There's a lot of Soviets over by you. <laughs> I, I believe it's called a breakthrough. Yeah. Okay. Do I want to try and push? I think I need to wait. For now. Uh, yeah, they'll do it. No fights? No fights. That's it. Eight. Eighth turn. Clear it, Bart? Or no? <laughs> that is the question. <clears throat> An interesting decision point. Oh, yes. It's really one of the central ones in the game. Especially we need... critical moments. Yeah. Well, you know, it, think... it does actually a little, it does a lovely job of simulating OODA loops, and but also the flow of battle, right? I mean, it's... Right, oh, yeah. we just had a ton of combat early in the day. And now, and now all of a sudden, nothing. <laughs> so what situation am I in here first? Um, basically... Right. Well, when so you go to road movement. Oh, no, it's going to be tack movement, I think, isn't it? No, it's the road movement phase. Isolation is calculated at the start of road movement. Oh, right. Okay. Whatever. Yep. What so, happens? So, so what's going to happen is I'm going to put red markers on all your guys that are isolated. And everybody that is isolated suffers the following effects. It costs an extra op to move them. Yep. They cannot reorganize. They cannot use road movement. And they may not make a river crossing. Is that loan oh supply? My. Oh, that's right. There, it's right here. Yeah, yeah. Isolated yeah, or low on no, low on supply is low on supply is they're vulnerable. And yeah, nobody low on supply is even worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Low on supply doesn't happen in a single day battle. Right, because this is over the course of a few hours, so realistically, they're not going to... They have, like, a day's worth of combat-effective supplies yeah. on them, so... Fuel and ammo, yeah. Yeah, yeah the, the big thing is, is the command, it takes. It costs a lot to command them. Yep, that's it. Right, because you're relying on finicky radios, you have to send couriers a long way around. Yeah. Right, so we are not going to reorganize. And we're not going to clear the... Uh, right. Reset? Okay. Uh, six. Got them all. Let's mark them. Let's see here, what do you got? Where's your jump? Rotate. Where is your? These guys get to rotate still, though, right? Yeah, that's yeah. Tip phase, you get back. Where's your ammo dump go? Oh, it's over here. You're sitting on it. Yeah. So he's good, obviously. Yeah, you can go. Burp, burp. He's, good. he's got, he's got now, plenty think, of yeah, potato yeah, pancakes. I think, I think only the thing right, uh, this right here is. That square is, is that square out? And remember, it can be as, it can be a crazy, crazy line. It doesn't have to be the most direct route. Oh, okay. I think everybody's in, is still in. Let me no. find it. I thought Zox no. did it. No, but it Zox doesn't did. cut it if you have a unit. For example, this guy's in Zock, but it doesn't matter because there's a unit there. Yeah, but what? Uh, where does he have to trace uh, his line of he, supply any, to, to his supply dude, depot? Here. He's got to okay. get back to here. So there's there's nothing. There's no way. Oh yeah, he can't. Yeah, he can't get out of here. Yeah, 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 He can't get out of here. He can't get out of here. Can't get out of there from there. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Can't get out of okay, there. Okay, so all this one either. So it's basically the only guys that aren't that way are these guys here. Yep. Yep. So it's easier to look at it that way. Yeah, everybody else is isolated. Correct. Okay. 
So you can't use road movement, so attack movement. Events first, maybe? Oh, forgive me. Of course. You get to do events. That's kind of handy. Oh, um, I, yeah, I did want to show you. I don't know if you noticed it or not. Um, down at the bottom of the page on the uh, right-hand side, it might be helpful to remember that that's available. Yeah, yeah. Because we've got, we've got some of that issue now. Yep, that's kind of why I rolled six. Ah, uh, yeah, no events. All right. And no, no road movement over here, but I could do road movement over here. Yes, that do. one fella could do it. Yes, he could. Uh, he, he's a Zoc. He's a Zoc. He can't do it. Oh, yeah, he can't do it either. Cause, yeah, he's Zoc. You're right. So, tactical phase cost me two. Two points. And we will once again Oh they oh Lord they coming. Let them come. Take these guys. I didn't get to roll for my recon last time either. Mmm. Didn't do you any damage, did it? Doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, and these guys plow into that woods again. All right. And I don't think there's anything we want to do over here. All right. Doesn't really got anybody hanging out. Doing nothing. Which fight yeah, that's which, it. Which fights first? Uh this uh, in the bush, in the woods. In the bushes. Say uh, two, five. Five defending and a uh, six attacking. Six. six to five. Artillery Germans. Yes. This one. This one. Ooh. Both of them, huh? Nine and four. So Thirteen. Thirteen to this uh, doughty five. Five. Thirteen to five. Um, Soviets artillery. We are calling in our 76 and our 122. Which gives you a total of? Uh, let's see, that'd be two and this, uh, additional five. So uh, 10. Chrono? 10. Chrono? Chrono? Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to save those for the offensive? You'll, I, get, them, you'll, you'll get them back at the tip. start of the turn. Oh, Go that's right. Tip. Yeah, yeah, that, okay. My mistake. No problem. 13 to 10. Very good. Tactics. Anything Germans? We're looking. Are you looking, Soviets? Uh, I am looking. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hmm. I'm good. All right. Any attacking tactics? Yes. What you gonna do? Infiltration. Which? Double the combat. Double the combat value of one infantry unit if attacking in mountain woods or bokash. There's no mountain woods or bokash here. This is woods. Woods. It's, it's all oh, woods. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> sorry. I was looking at the other fight. Sorry. And so you're gonna double the three, I imagine. Well, there's two threes. Yeah, so thirds. So sixteen to ten. And it? I'm also throwing smoke. 
There we go. Wait. Oh, downshift. <laughs> defender downshift. Yeah, 1610, so a downshift for you, or for the uh, defender. Mm -hmm. 1610 downshift. Defender, you do anything? No tactics. Okay. 16, 16 of the four. 4 is 3. And Chrono, you rolled what? A 3 on 10. Um, nuts. Which is nothing. Yep. So that kills him if he takes all three. Yeah. Uh, but do you have a wait? That's only two off three. You roll a three, right? I rolled a four. Yeah, you rolled a three. Once, again, four. You, once again, you. Um, for, yeah, yeah. So it's one, two. Yep, that's three. Yep. Rip. It kills him. Yep. Yep. One, two. Yes, I couldn't evade. No evading for you. Speaking of guys, that, All right, this mess. that gets to evade, and let's not forget our recon this time. We begin with a base of 13, attacking 6. 13 to 6, artillery Germans. They're 15 to 6. Where do you get 13? All five, all full strength. <laughs> the tanks haven't taken any damage yet. Fifteen to six. <laughs> uh, what do you think about throwing this at him? Artillery Germans. Uh, which one? Uh, this is the top one right here. Yes, we're gonna throw this at him. Art okay, so, and what's yes. that give you? Eighteen. Eighteen six 18. artillery Soviets. Uh, we don't have any. All right, tactics. So it's eighteen six um, with a with a upshift for the Germans. Is it is it even worth it though? I mean, maybe Cause, not. Because I think the result is going to be same. True. Yeah. Okay. We'll leave it then. All right. So tactics, Germans. Yes. What you got? We have an airstrike. <laughs> Two gives, me up, gives me an upshift. Mm -hmm. Second upshift. And and we have a reserve artillery, which gives me an upshift. Good lord. Three upshifts. 18, yeah, six, see, eighteen six and three upshifts. Germans you or uh, Soviets you bring in anything? Nope. Nope. Okay, first, we'd have been uh, we'd uh, have been throwing good money after bad there, Chrono. So uh, <laughs> Germans point. roll for recon. Oh yeah. Yep. Four. Yep. So we shoot first. Yeah. Yep. yep. Eighteen with three upshifts. Oh, it's gonna be dirty. <laughs> that's oh, oh, they're dead. They're just dead. That's, <laughs> that's that's all of it. Well, they, no, they died gloriously for the motherland. They don't have. These guys can evade, can? Yeah, they, they can. Matt, well, no, because they you can only do their last step because they ah. have to take because you roll a six, yes. right? Yep. Yep. So they have to so. take it off. They're dead. Six, so he can only take. They take. They'd have to take two each before they start evading. So they're yep. just dead. <laughs> we. <laughs> Stop flipping it. So there. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. He warned those guys. He, he warned those guys early in the fight not to do that, and uh, finally put paid to it. You wait till it's our turn to have fun. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that that would be now. Yeah, I was gonna say. I think that's it, right? I think so. Actually, I get that's it for me, guys. That's after eleven. Oh, okay, cool. Well, we will let's uh, let's click to turn nine. You can get halfway through the game, honestly. Even starting an hour late. Yeah, yeah that's Not pretty bad. good. Let me grab a couple screenies. Wait, wait, Vance. You just didn't want us to have our turn to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> On the other hand, it might be the case that he wants you to start off with your fun. 
Oh, good yeah. point. He's he's being nice. Wow, that's really generous of you, Vance. Especially, I'm sure Jeff feels exactly that same way, given the fact that every howling Soviet within a thousand kilometers is about to come barreling into his flank. <laughs> Seriously, yeah, I, 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 another turn, and I don't know if we can. I mean, there's a breakthrough in the center that's a mile. Yeah, away. I mean, it's they need four, but how many they got? Two. You have two. We had three, and these two are like probably the ones we're closest to be able to get back again. Yeah, just looking at him. Okay. And of course I must critically save. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is worth saving, but it's going to be a I, close battle. I think it's going to be close, one way or the other. Yeah. But they've got how many more turns? What, six? Uh, uh, four. Four. If, four. If four attacks. Yeah. Depending on the tactical phases we end up using per turn, etc. Yeah. And you've, you've got a number of things that are definitely going to factor into it, not the least of which is, do they all, you know, do they have bad luck and roll a bunch of ones? Well, we've seen and we that. Can, <laughs> we, we, our tanks have done well. We can put some pressure on their tanks. Yeah, but even... Not where you are. With, yeah. Even with us rolling poorly, <laughs> it took them three turns to take this. Yeah. yeah. Even with us rolling really poorly. Yeah. It's going to be the same for this and this. Well, not, well, not, none of the, well, that's true. That's actually true because, and these guys have anti-tank. Yeah. Well, and these guys have anti-tank over here. Mm -hmm. That only helps you get attacked by tanks, right? This is true. 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 Fair enough. All right. I have saved. I've done those things. All right. Well, let me go out to the folks that are watching and see how many we got left. Yeah. Woo. Small, much smaller group. Anyway, oh, take care. Michael, I guess we missed you a while ago. Take care. Great to see everybody. Uh, Saturday, Saturday, I think the plan is, if I can rustle the troops up in time, the Battle of Vagram for Bloody Big Battles. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> the Battle of Vagram for Bloody Big Battles. We'll see how many want to come out and play. We hope everybody wants to do that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Next week, we'll be back with more Rommel, more Chain of Command, more Heaven Knows What, and eventually with Essence Resultat, Essence Resultat for uh, Battle of Catra Bra. So a whole bunch of stuff. Thanks a lot. Hope you enjoyed tonight. We'll see you soon. Please take care.